Nico's here, right? <laughs> yes. <sir. laughs> okay. All right. Bring Nico in. That's his cue. <laughs> where's Where's Nico? He's coming in. Does, he asked if he could bring his back. You guys keep talking this. about him like he's the gimp. Like, he's like, <laughs> wait till you see Nico. Wait guy. till you see. Wait till you see him. He's going to make his grand entrance. You've never seen this man before, right? Look at him. Yeah. Oh, Look at him yeah. with his backpack on. The window. By the way, I swear to God. I fucking thought Narco Season 3 <laughs> was I was an employee, not an intern. I hope somebody checked that backpack. You know, it always makes me nervous when people reach into bags in here. Is there any anything I should be worried about in there, Nico? No. Good. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. So, Dan, you have not met Nico. Nico, you have not met Dan Soder? Hi, Nico. How are you doing? How are you? Good, yourself? Good. You look like the youngest highway patrol officer I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. You did get a cop haircut. Nico. Yeah, you really do look like you just like pulling over black people in rental cars. <laughs> and you got your stash. Yeah. Are you just trying to look a little more uh, severe? Sure. Good. <laughs> yeah. Good. Cool. He goes, do you know why I pulled you over? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Nico, uh, when he first came in, we asked him about his sex life. Yeah. He told us that he had had uh, one sexual partner. Okay. And then uh, a few weeks later, we started asking him a lot of questions about it. And the audience that his story was falling apart. Started crumbling. As we started asking him questions. Oh, oh boy. We ran out of time that day. We came back on the air. And Nico admitted to us that he had made the whole thing up. He was absolutely a virgin. And he was lying to us the entire time. Thing where you're like, she goes to another school. Uh, <laughs> you guys don't know her, probably. It got, to, I mean, he it I got to done the, that. That would have made more sense. What it did, got to the, so he goes like. Uh, he goes, I had sex with her pussy. So. <laughs> So good. <laughs> oh, the sex I had with her pussy was <laughs> I and, ejaculated so much. And her tits. You should have seen the tits. Her squishy tits. They felt you know like uh, like water bottles, like hot water bottles. Her kisses were warm. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I also touched on her butt cheeks. Body heat. <laughs> 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 uh, so wait, you, so you're a virgin. There's nothing to be ashamed. How old are you? Twenty. How oh, did you find? No, we told you. I know some real fucking cool dudes that didn't lose it till twenty six, and by Ooh. that I mean one guy. But he won an Emmy. Who was it? I'm not saying. Come on. I'm not saying. The guy from Homeland. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damian Lewis. <laughs> Damian Lewis. I knew it. <laughs> Bobby Axelrod. I knew it. I could tell. Bobby Axelrod didn't lose it till he was twenty six. Um, he really came into his own though at that oh, point. Then he just started tearing through it. Um. But no, Nico. Uh. Uh. You know he's uh, he lives with his folks, of course. He lives uh, in a, he shares a bedroom. He shares bunk beds with his brother because they want to have more room for activities. His brother uh, has uh, uh, some some problems. Your brother has Asperger's or autism, well, or I guess both. Both, yeah. both, yeah. So they got to help him out and everything. Um, and he's not allowed to shut his doors, so he has to jerk off in the bathroom. Dude. Right there. I jerk off in the bathroom too, bud. <laughs> so you get with being having a roommate in your thirties, dog. We're basically the same person, Nico. So yesterday. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm identifying with Nico on a deep level because I live with Mike Vecchione under the trains. <laughs> Vecchione, I don't know if you've talked to him, a little ass burglary. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I jerk off in the bathroom. Don't tell him I jerk off in the bathroom, right. but I jerk off in the bathroom. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. A lot yeah. Of times. Most of the time. It's my go to. <laughs> <laughs> no, why you bring were, your iPad in the bathroom? If there were Stop a, asking questions. Yeah. If there was a designated jerk room in my house, the bathroom would be, it would be the bathroom. Yeah. You, you too, Nico? Yeah, yeah it's, okay. all, it's all Good. a tile, dude. Good. Come on. Um, so, Mary Jean came in the other day. Yeah. And she was talking. You met, you've met Mary Jean. The voluptuous Mary Jean. Yeah. And she was mentioning that she was uh, nominated for an AVN. Awesome. For Viewer's Choice Tits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is a big one. Yeah. She gave our uh, producer, Lou Witzke, uh -huh. a lap dance for his birthday. And I was in L.A., but I got to see via Skype. And yeah. Wow. The, the, yeah. So, I mean, so we do recommend, I don't know how people vote, but if you can figure it out, go vote for her titties above yeah. the other titties there. But we were kind of goofing around and saying, Nico, you should go out to Vegas and you should go to the AVNs and stuff. Now, oh, we're not yeah. sending him out to Vegas. Plus, when the AVNs are happening, today's his last day of this intern semester. So today, after this show, you're gone for six weeks? For yeah. six weeks. He's coming back at the end of January. Oh, even a boy coming back a man. Yep. Well, yesterday, he comes to me and he goes, hey. And I'm like, hey, Nico. And I'm like, you just hanging out? And he goes, yep. And then a weird amount of time goes by. <laughs> and then he goes, hey, can I show you something? And I'm like, I'm going to cautiously say yes. Do you like dead people? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say yes. And he takes out his phone. And he hands me his phone. And I look at it. 
and it's a receipt for airline tickets for Vegas. Fucking A. And Nico tells me he got on the phone with Mary Jean on Tuesday. Yeah. And the two of them together booked his tickets on his own dime while he's not working here. Dude, how... Ex- to go to the AVNs. Nico is going to the AVNs with Mary Jean. Oh, are you going with her? They're traveling together. That's great. And I go, Nico, is this hotel too? And he goes, no, it's just plain. And I go... Where are you staying hotel-wise? So far, the Hard Rock. Okay, cool. And are you? do you have to, you have to pay for your own room? Not, not as far as I know. Have you just been well, constantly masturbating since you booked that ticket? Why don't, why don't you have to pay for your own room? Because Mary Jean said she was covering it. Co- wait, 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 wait. It saying you're, she's covering your room? No, we're sharing a room. Oh. What? <laughs> All right, Nico. Good job, buddy. So you're going. You're to pumped, the, aren't you? You're yeah, going to the AVN. Yeah, but dude. And share how? And and and. Dude, I mean, if you do, you think you think you got a shot, Mary Jean? Anything can happen. Yeah. Right. Oh, Vegas. What a good, did you read that off a of Vegas t-shirt? <laughs> yes, anything can I've happen. I have Googled Vegas enough to know that anything can happen. And, and also, what happens there yeah. stays there. Oh. I'm learning Vegas laws. I'm brushing up on my Vegas <laughs> laws before I head out there. I think that Nico's move should be to try to get with some of Mary Jean's friends. Yes. So he we doesn't. Have her be your wing girl. Right. So he doesn't come back here. And like have to because Mary Jean's Dude, close. Mary, Mary Mary Jean's a very outgoing person. I bet she could get a porn star dog pile for you. Would you want a porn star dog pile, Nico? Sure. Is that one of the intentions of going out there? Yeah. It's yeah. like never playing basketball and then going to All Star Weekend and they're like, "Hey, you want to run five with <laughs> yeah. like a couple of guys? Yeah. You want to run five with a couple All Stars? You're like, ah, yeah. I just just pass it to Durant. That's all you have to do. So the uh, the awards, I guess, are probably on a Saturday. So what are you guys going out on the Friday? So we're leaving January twenty third. It's on what? Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. Dude, you're gonna come back like a raisin. <laughs> and when are you guys gonna be drained? When are you coming back? January 28th, which is Sunday. So you're going Tuesday to Sunday in Vegas? It's Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night. You're going for five nights. Let's see some of these yep. nominees, huh? Female Performer of the Year, August <laughs> Ames. The, you know you're getting old when you want to see the AVN nominees you put, you put glasses. your glasses. <laughs> yeah, well, let me go. put the peepers on and take a look at some of these let nominees. See, let me see which one of these gals is getting naked on film, these girls on film. So do you have a strategy right now in terms of, like, are you – Hoping to get laid while you're out there? I'm hoping for it, yes. Okay. Are you going to be, if it doesn't happen, are you going to be okay? No. No, you, you're not you can't do that. <laughs> Nico, you can't do that. <laughs> you not. can't put all your eggs in one basket. <laughs> yeah, he no. goes, no, I'm you, not going to be okay. If you catch a hand job, a beach, you got to look at it, you know. Yeah. Vegas, you can't go thinking you're going to win $10,000. Right. You got to go, when do you think you're going to leave with point. the same money that you came in with? If you go and you just... I mean, it really is the oldest man moving the book, <laughs> putting on my glasses. Let's uh, take a oh, look. Oh, Melissa. I mean, look at all these beautiful women you're going to be There's a around. lot of beautiful women. Kiss of Sins. I know Kiss of Sins. She's been on the show. Do you have a good strategy for how you're going to hide uh, your erection publicly if, like, one of them starts hugging on you? I have not come up with that Okay, yet. you got yeah. to get into that. Now, tell me this. I mean, look at If these. you go and you get one hand job in the five days, Damn. how do you leave feeling? I'll... Feel decent. Okay, so it's even not, if you get a these girls do porn, it's a step oh, in the right it, direction. Even it, if you just get a hand is. job, you're good. Well, yeah, enough. Yeah, it'll be satisfying at least. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's a start. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you'll be on the board, as they say. Yeah. Have you thought about this? Are you going to self stimulate in order to kind of unload the gun before you go <gasps> out? Shoot it in the ground first, like yeah. <laughs> Because otherwise, you run the risk of like as soon as a woman comes oh. into contact with it, you're going to blow all over yourself. Yeah, once one of the one of these pros dunks on you, oh my god, you're going to be shell shocked. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, dude, you got you got to go in fucking empty. Yeah. Right, what do you think you're going to do? Although you're sharing a hotel room with Mary Jean, so what are you going to just? I guess you could jerk off in the bathroom. You're used to it, oh, right? Dude, that's yeah. A, yeah, it's a wheelhouse. You could even tell Mary Jean, I'm going to go jerk <laughs> off. Yeah. She might like that. She probably would. She probably would. Probably would. So have you, you've talked to Mary Jean on the phone about this? We did. Because, we like, nobody it. put the, nobody set this up for you. You just no. came in, and you were like, yeah, I called Mary Jean, and we set this up. Yeah. <laughs> so what did she say about it? She was excited? She said that I was definitely going. I was her date. She told a whole bunch of people. <laughs> wow. There she is. There she is. There's and, the nominee. And you're her date. Vote now. See if you can vote now. Yeah, for, for best boobs. So you're you're her date. Yes. So what are you doing for five days in uh, Vegas? Are you uh, doing other stuff? Yes, as far as I know. No, like... You, doing you, a lot of stuff. Like what? I don't know yet. So what are you... 
I know we're going to signings. Wait, so you're just following her around the whole time? As far as I'm aware. Dude, he's going to totally, by the way, I just want to say, perfect haircut to look like security. Yeah. He looks like. He's going to be Mary Jean's suitcase pimp? Yeah. Yeah. So you're following her around to all her signings and everything? Yes. That's not a bad thing. It's not. Because the signings. I'll meet a lot of people. Right. It's not just going to be like. And when the girls see you out in more than one occasion with Mary Jean. They're going to want to know who I am. Goddamn right. Although you See, have... Nico knows. I think Nico's Kaiser Sozaing us. I think he gets laid all the time. You and do? He's like, he's going to show up and some of those porn stars are like, I've never fucked a guy like that. <laughs> <laughs> he just knew what to do in every single circumstance. He's just going to limp out of the room and then start walking down the hall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I drop my coffee when I think about it. <laughs> I go, wait a second. He referenced the clit without saying he never fucked. Oh, my God. So are you going to watch like a bunch of porn and stuff to... to... To brush up for this? Way ahead of that. You are. Okay, so you're already doing your yeah. research. Yeah. 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 yeah, he's just watching film over and over. His brother's like, please, can we go to sleep? He's just on the top bunk. He's like, do research. Shut up, dude. <laughs> More bunk research. Beds are just squeaking. Oh, man. How, I mean, what a great situation to possibly lose your virginity. Yes. You know, you know who's going to have a hard time is the girl that follows that. Because that's not real, you know. This you is can't like just keep that going. This is like a movie. This is like a like, it feels a, like one. Huh? It feels like one. It does, right? Like one like, of those like, like one uh, of those to be continued coming you, of age things. When you were on the phone with Mary Jean, were you getting excited to where like your heartbeat was in your ears? Where you're like, is this happening? And a little blood was, was yeah. racing downstairs. Yeah, you were like, <gasps> you're like scared and then also uh, like thrilled. And you were just like answering every question like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's stupid. When she what? called me, yeah, yes, that, I, you were excited. I was very excited. I didn't expect her to call me. Oh yeah. Man. Yeah. I mean, the way Nico laughs away from a microphone might be one of the most adorable <laughs> things I've ever seen. He goes, that's just, she fits you all right. Everything is just, so, there's so much youthful exuberance. It is. How old are you? 20. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, man. Good God amazing. bless. The only, the, only, the only thing I'm worried about is <laughs> if this experience goes well, will anything match up to it? Meaning at 20, will he hit his peak? You know? I don't know. It's a hard thing to say. I see one of your callers. Let's, I have a question because is August Ames the one that killed herself? Well, let's go to uh, Brad in New Jersey. What's up, Brad? Yes, sir. Dan mentioned August Ames. She just killed herself like two weeks ago. Yeah, we talked about it on Legion of Skanks. Oh, yeah. Somebody on Twitter just said, Jesus, Soder, too soon for the August Ames joke. She's nominated for an AVN. <laughs> and by the way, listen to Legion of Skanks because there's way worse jokes on that. Because <laughs> it's maybe, way... maybe they'll do like a dedication of all the porn stars. Now like, I will remember you. <laughs> just get slammed from behind. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, dude, I never thought about AVN in memoriam. Of course. <laughs> oh, that would be great. People we, people we lost this year. <laughs> we lost a lot of good holes. Play it. No. <laughs> Everyone's weeping and hard. And like, instead of ah, she, really, she really did love what she did. Instead of putting like uh, you know, actor, producer, then they're just like Anal. Yeah. Vaginal yeah. and anal. That's yeah. Vag- Starlet. Yeah. 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 Double beach. <laughs> Barely legal. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's uh, really gonna make me laugh when I'm by myself later. Is thinking about AVN in memoriam. Yeah, it's such. I don't know if you've ever watched the AVNs, but they are like you know, it's an award show, but it's also silly. Kind of a farce. It's just kind of silly. Yeah, because it's porn stars. I right. love when people go up and thank God. Yeah, in the, for, for their porn for star best scene. You go, oh no, 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 no. His lack of absence is what got you. Yeah. Here. If Mary Jean, you get to go to the ceremony, right? I'm going to everything. If Mary Jean wins, <laughs> are you gonna walk up on stage with her? I've not figured that out yet. You should. Just follow her up. Just hold her purse, dude. Yeah. I'm right. going to tell you, stay in the seat, hold her purse. Don't Sam's tell her you're doing me... it, though. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I'm saying, I'm trying to give him the right info, which is stay in the, stay seated, no, motherfucker. No, 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 no. Don't you blow no. this. You walk right up with her. Because by then, that's Saturday night. You only got one more She'll night anyway. take me up with her. So, yeah. Even if she doesn't, just walk up. Just follow her. Don't even dis- oh, dude. Don't I hope discuss there's, it with I hope her. There's video of her walking up and then having to push Nico back to his seat where she's like, what are you doing? Stop. And he's like, I'm coming up with you. And she's like, sit the fuck down. Ah, apparently there's a problem with Mary Jean and her security guard. <laughs> you think there's commentary for the AVNs? Yeah, I hope so. Is I there? would imagine, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, otherwise it wouldn't be a good broadcast. So how excited are you about this? Very. You are? Yes. Do you think it's going to be a success? Well, yes. You do. Yes. Good. You're walking in confident. Yes. You should. Can I put now, money down on it? Do you, can we bet? We can bet. Can we start like a bet pool? Okay. Mm-hmm. What What do you What do you think is going to happen, Dan? <sighs> let's bet Nico, Bitcoin. I, Nico, yeah, let's bet all the Bitcoin. <laughs> Nico, I want to say that you're going to get laid, 
but I just know Vegas, mm -hmm. and I've lost I lost money in Vegas, and I've been disappointed with Vegas. I just feel like you need to go in hoping for a, a hand job or a, a blow job. Just hoping for something. Yeah, and, and then, then and then, and then, then if you get laid, it's like that's great. It's like how NFL teams just want to make the playoffs. Right. Just, just get to the playoffs, Nico. Yeah. It's one of those things Don't where like blow it. there's there, there's on it. <laughs> so much opportunity. Like it's such a slam dunk. You can play it out in your head. And whenever those scenarios happen that you play out in your head from start to finish, they never go that way. It's like when you make a bet and you're like, how am I going to spend this money I'm going to win? Right. And you're like, I'm fucked. Yeah. Because I already spent it. It's over. Actually, somebody has a question for, for Nico about money. Alex in Atlanta. Hey, what's up? Uh, yeah, I uh, I go to Vegas like every year for work. And holy shit, I only go for like two days. I don't know how the fuck Nico's going to pay for Tuesday to Sunday. <laughs> holy shit, dude. What's the plan, Nico? You're hoping Mary Jean covers the hotel? Yes. What if she says, like, you're up for half of it? We're going to have to talk about that. <laughs> right. We'll figure that out in Vegas. Don't yes. don't have those negotiations. Yeah, no, 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 no. No. You, you figure that out later. He might have to hell or high water it and just rob a bunch of banks yeah. to fund this fucking <laughs> Vegas, <laughs> high water. It's Vegas trip. <laughs> <laughs> Who put the bets? Is old Jeff Bridges hunting down Nico? I know you went after it. I know it wasn't you. It was your brother. I feel like law enforcement. That's Sam Elliott. But you get it. I got it. Old cowboy. I feel like uh, law enforcement would understand if Nico explained his excuse. Let's go to uh, Ryan in Chicago. Ryan, welcome. It's Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. Sammy Brand Muffin. How you doing, man? Good, dude. Hey, uh, I think Nico's going to get coaxed into doing a uh, a first timer porn video with her in a hotel room. Best case scenario, dude. What that is so best case scenario. What if somebody tries to get you to do a porn video and they pay you? I'll do it. You got the oh, <laughs> Nico. You're you'll confident. Do, you're confident in your I'm, in your dick, huh? You'll do a porn yeah. if somebody pays you for it. Yeah. <laughs> how for much? Nico. How much would they have to pay? What if it's 150 bucks? We're gonna have to do multiple pornos. <laughs> if they offer <laughs> two grand, two thousand dollars to do a porno, that's pretty good. That's done. That's you're done, in. That's done. Yes. So regardless, of, even if it's 150 dollars, you'll do one and try to get some more work. Nico's yes. like a fair contractor. <laughs> yes. He's like, you know what? I can do that work. Why? Why are two, you two grand? I can get in there. It sounds like you've thought about this before. The fact that you answered that quickly <laughs> yeah, goes, makes me feel like you have. Uh, Sam, wanted... I have a whole bracket. <laughs> uh, I'll go. Gabe for pay for ten. <laughs> he's got like a whole thing. What about what about got no a money? Sheet? What about no money? But you get to bang one of these chicks. I'd still do it. Yeah, for your pick. Oh yeah, get the, uh, free. Shot. But it's on video though. Okay. I mean, then I'm an actor now. <laughs> right. Oh, right. there you My go. Name's out there. Now, get does it, it. Does it worry you at all that uh, there will be video of you fucking available for people to watch? You know that it could. Yeah, that worries me a little bit. But you'll still do it. I still do it. <laughs> you think? How would your parents feel <laughs> if you were in a porno? <laughs> Dude, I know who would be pumped. His brother. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. He'd be fucking hitting the bottom of his bunk <laughs> like Probably fucking jumps. Leota and Goodfellas. <laughs> <laughs> He's just saying, man. You did it! <laughs> you brought home the chip! <laughs> oh, man. I hope this goes so well for you, Nico, and I hope Vegas does not roll you. Don't go north of the strip. Get super shady, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, just stay put. Don't go off the strip. So you, But you will do a porno. Yeah. And you want, do you kind of want to? Uh, kind of, a little part of You want to be offered. Yeah. Everyone wants to be offered because you well, want to feel good. So what do you explain to your to your parents if they find out that you were in a porno? I'm an actor now. <laughs> oh, dude, what a great way to go to your parents. They're like, Nico, did you do a pornography film? And he goes, I'm an actor. Yeah. No, no, go, Nico. It's my big dick. I'm going to fuck what I want to fuck. <laughs> Nico, did you do a pornography film? And he'll be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Did you see it? Yeah. His dad's like, and then his dad goes, yeah. His dad, his dad, yeah. His dad reacts the exact same way. His dad talks like Nico. His, his mom's like, were you in a porn movie? And he goes, yeah. He's, he's like, why did you see yeah. his dad? He goes, yeah. It's just the same. It's the same voice for Nico and his dad. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, he's a nervous Dirk Diggler. He's like, I don't know. You want to fuck? You kind of want, you want Mary Jean to be your sex coach, right? Yeah. So if she put, <laughs> if she yeah, put on a hat, that's, and, that's more what I was. If she about. put on a hat and a whistle, 
sheep on whatever. So you want to you want to do one of those movies? I sometimes watch those porn movies where it's like the stepmom is teaching the stepdaughter how to have sex, and then she also ends up fucking the dude because she the wants. Best. To, it's the best, isn't it? That's the new. That is the hit right now. Yeah, I love those. Oh, because it's milf, but it's also a young hot porn. You get the best right. of both worlds. And you know, as you're watching, like, oh, yeah. she's only teaching her because she wants it. Yeah, she's wants it's it. It's sweet. This, it's no, sweet and savory. Uh, to me, I think it's a ruse. I think that the mom is the stepmom is pretending to be nice because she's trying to get her stepdaughter's boyfriend. That's what I think is going on. Uh, dude, fucking, uh, so, so someone on someone just tweeted that he should try to Soder should try to get him to bang August Ames. That's just, <laughs> that's really funny. He wrote "Make It Happen." God damn, that made me laugh. Yeah, so, dude. There's a lot. I mean, do you think that you would do something like that, where like Mary Jean could be your sex coach, but then she would also jump on and be like, "Okay, my turn with that dick." Would that be that's fun? what you're hoping. That'd be, that'd oh, dude, that's fun, what. Yeah. That's why that bathroom door at his house is locked for the last fucking three days. But here's the problem: you'll never last through two people. No, I probably wouldn't. Probably also, I have, at all. this has been brought. This is a good point that just got brought up. You're 20. Yeah. You got a fake ID. I have a mustache. I need an ID. <laughs> good call. Good call. You know man. what, Nico? I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty good. And he's got mustache confidence too. Yeah. Hey, he's like, how you doing, Nico? I'm, now, Mar I'm Mary Jean's lover. <laughs> If you don't mind me asking, are you? How do you feel about your body? Confident? Not confident? Uh, not as confident as I should be. As you should be, because yeah. you have a beautiful body. You should be more confident in it. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Because, like, look at you. You should be confident, but for some reason, you're not. Yeah, I see. I understand. I but really have no doubt he's going to get it done. Gonna you have really? Full yeah. intercourse. Full uh, intercourse. You know why? Full because... intercourse. I. You know what? I hate. I'll bet you. All right. And no offense, Nico. I think so. Too. I just want to, you, you think do. So you too. Think full intercourse. Full intercourse. P and V. I'm gonna start taking odds. You know dude. why? Because because Mary Jean is so nice. Yeah. She is very that, nice. That even if she doesn't do it herself, she's gonna find someone who will. You know what? That's a good point. She, she is, is very, really nice. She knows his situation. She's gonna hook it do up. Do you think he'll end up in a porno? No. No, no, never. Seen Man, that. look at some of these. What if you got to? Uh, Wait, no, but I think he's gonna Allison have the time Tyler. of his life. Is she dead too? Is Allison <laughs> Tyler too? Can I? I'm worried about saying these girls' names because I don't know if they're dropping like Allison, flies. Allison Tyler would be a funny one because she's like six feet tall. Yeah, oh, dude. Yeah. Oh, I met Allison Tyler. Yeah. She was on our radio show. She's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's great. I was like, how do I know that? So, man, yeah, she's. Oh man, she just toss you around. Nico, the first question I asked is, would you do a porno movie? But it sounds like you want to do a porno. I kind of want you now. Yeah, you kind of hyped me up for it. Uh, I'm not saying it's yeah. a great idea. Sam it's is, isn't he? Idea. Yeah, Sam's hyping you up. I mean, I told you that you'd, like, your parents would me. be pissed. <laughs> you, you'd have to deal with it later. Like, there would yeah. be ramifications. Like, if you... Yeah. You better hope that we somehow find a position How? to hire you, because otherwise... Employers could find you in a porno, in a virgin porn. My, <laughs> you know, my question is how <laughs> how are you? If you do get laid, what will be the proof? We're gonna. You're not gonna. First of all, you're not gonna wash your hands. We're gonna have to smell those fingers. Yikes! Oh, he'll need to get the panties like Anthony Michael Hall. Oh, <laughs> yeah. we gotta go full teen movie yep. on this. You know what? Maybe have Mary Jean film it just for us. Oh, weirdo. What do you mean? We can watch it at home? In this current climate, Sam, I wouldn't recommend that. You won't be an intern at the time. Hashtag yeah, me no. too. <laughs> hashtag Nico struggle. There needs to be some sort of documentation proving that this happened. You ah, he's like, hey, it's Nico. Yeah, I'm about to lose it. <laughs> hey, guys. Am I fucking right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think Mary Jean's not going to lie to us. I, I already no. thought this through. I, I'm not going to lie. You're going to ask me too many questions. Right, and, and Nico's, gonna Nico's not going to lie. <laughs> We're not going to need thing I lied about. <laughs> We're not going to need the evidence. Nico's not going to lie because he's not a good liar. We'll catch him. How I'm am I going to lie in Vegas? Like, yeah. How not... are you going to lie in Vegas? That's nobody lies that's built Vegas. on Vegas. Yeah, I was nobody like, lies in Vegas. Oh, Nico, you got a whole thing coming, buddy. <laughs> the mafia, gamblers, prostitutes, nobody's lying. Yeah. yeah, they don't pump oxygen in there. No, no. Nico, do you have a plan B? Let's say that AVN doesn't happen. Uh, she can't hook you up with a chick. Are you getting a prostitute? Why isn't it happening? I'm just saying, just. Oh, so hypothetically, hypothetically, hypothetically saying, like, is there a plan B? Like, okay, if this doesn't happen, I'm going to pay for it. That's a good question. You're like Notre, you're like Notre Dame right now. You're like play like champions. Yeah. yeah. You're like, what do you mean? There, I, I, you are there refusing. There is no doubt that I will be in the championship game. Yeah. You are, <laughs> you are refusing the hypotheticals. I mean, either way, I, I'm going to Vegas, so something will happen. Yeah, you're right. You know I, what? I bought the tickets. Because <laughs> if you strike out with any of the ladies at AVN, you just go down to the strip, have those guys there that are go. slapping those cards, oh, grab yeah. a couple of those, and then see the girl that's not on the card. So you're going to do somewhere between a hand job, hand job is the minimum, probably. 
And the maximum would probably be starring in several porn movies. Oh, yeah. She just blows up. <laughs> yeah. Got to gotta think big. Nico's, Nico's in all the pop-ups when I'm on like a porn <laughs> site. Where I'm like, I got it. <laughs> yeah, student finds his way to Vegas, becomes a, a fuck star. Just all show, right. showing the big monster in his yeah. pants. I'm all, dude, I was sitting next to that. Weird. It's one of those pop-ups that gives you the virus and it comes up on my parents' computer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you know about that. His parents are like, well, at least you'll finally be contributing to the house instead of just destroying it. Let me go to Miguel in uh, Los Angeles. Miguel, you are not a Nico fan, correct? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, like, I, I'm, I wasn't a fan, but now that he's going to Vegas, you know, I'm starting to, you know, turn around um, on him a little bit. But first off, he's got to shave that fucking mustache, fucking looking like Paul Blart, Malcolm. Yeah, dude, that's okay. exactly, yeah. Dude, just jealous. Do you worry about that, Nico, that you kind of look like Paul Blart? That's kind of like an honor to look like Paul Blart. Yeah. You think he's the man? Oh, definitely. Kevin James Fox. Yeah. You know, so. Keep the stash, dude. I think you should, too. Yeah. I think you're 20. You I've, need I've it for the it, ID. I've had it for a while. I need it. <laughs> yeah, my ID doesn't have a mustache. Oh, man. Well, I mean, you're 20, so your ID, you got to get yeah, a fake ID, Yeah, if I shave ID, it, buddy. then, yeah, I'm going to have to get a fake. That's gonna so I can't believe, I've never heard of anybody using their downtime like this. Like, he's just like, well. On a mission? I'm not going to be an intern, so let me take it upon myself. <clears throat> let me buy a couple, let me buy a plane ticket. It's just. Let me get out to Vegas and just hang out with this porn star that I met on the show. Yeah, it's his fuck rum spring. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like when, you know, when, uh, when they go and use technology. The and, Amish? Yeah, the Amish yeah. go use electricity for, and drink. Rum and, springer? Yeah, rum springer. You yeah. go get your fuck rum spring on. <laughs> oh, I hope it happens. How dude. did your parents react when you told them I'm going to Vegas for five days by myself? Or um, with a porn star? Did you tell them with a porn star? Yeah. You did? I mean, you did. <laughs> oh, dude, he was so... My dad was like, so what awards are you going to? I said, the AVNs. He goes, English. I said, the porn awards. He goes, oh. <laughs> you tell me who you were going with? Yeah. What did he say? He's like, who's that? And I'm like, she's just, she's a star. <laughs> he probably, uh, he probably on some I like level his, thinks I like that his, you're the man. No, I like he that was, his dad like, acted dumb. He goes, who is it? Mary Jean? Because <laughs> I her. mentioned it when you guys first brought it up to me. I was like, you know, this was brought up. I don't know if it's for real, but this is, this is if I'm serious about it. I'm going to do it. He's like, all right. And then uh, as it kept getting closer, like after I, when I was buying the tickets, I'm like, you know, this is happening. I'm going to Vegas. He's like, it's like, I support whatever you want to do. Just whatever you got to do, do it. I'm not going to hold you back, but you're covering everything. It's like, right. what, he gave you a son going to war speech? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yes, I listen, I'm he's proud like, of you. He's more worried about my mom. She's overprotective. She, she's like, he's like, how long are you going? It's like a week. He goes, oh, your mom's going to have a heart attack. Yeah, I mean, I think like, your mom's gonna have a heart attack when she gets to so, some privy information. Like, yeah, Vegas for the porn awards with a porn star. With a porn star, so if she's her, overly protective. <laughs> like, I'm staying with a porn star. Five days. What's the worst gonna happen? These people are good people. So right after I told them, I went up and told her she was asleep. I'm like, I was like, um, I just want to let you know, uh, next month I'm, uh, I'm going away for work. She goes, all right, where are you going? I'm like, Las Vegas. She goes, Las Vegas. And I'm like, yeah, Las Vegas. She goes, how long? It's like a week. Uh, okay. But uh, as long as she doesn't know, I pay for it. She's fine with it. For work. For You're work. Not, but it's not for work. She doesn't know that. <laughs> yeah, this is just you doing it. Do they I listen to the show? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this, as far as I know. Yeah, because yeah, he's not, you're, I mean, we would not have. Dude, think... if he somehow got you on the hook for all this, I would think Nico's a genius. Yeah. I'd try to get him a job on the bonfire. Like if I was on the hook financially? Or <laughs> yeah, just, like if yeah. he somehow worked there, he goes, no, you guys are paying for it. I talked to Don. I couldn't, I couldn't yeah. just, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's for work. And I'm like, it's not for work. This is your thing. I just booked a penthouse at Hard Rock. Gonna be, <laughs> I gonna think be it's for work. work going on. So yeah, you better get that work. I like happening. that. Ni I like that. Nico's already calling fucking work. Yeah, <laughs> he goes trying to get that work. You're like, oh, right. <laughs> Let's go to well, Ryan in Las Vegas wants to help you out. What's up, Ryan? Hey, how's it going? Good. Good, good. Yeah. So if Nico gets out here and gets into a jam, I can give you my number. We can come and save him. Oh, nice. I like that it's like Winston the Wolf shit, where it's yeah. just like, just give me your number, I'll get you out of a jam kind we of stuff. We got you. You need people like, you need people like Ryan in like Vegas. That. Coming in from Henderson to fucking cap, kneecap some motherfuckers. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. What do you, I mean, yeah, I'm, you know what? I was about to ask Ryan, what do you do? But <laughs> that's a silly question. Just quote. save that number and give it to Nico. <laughs> Let's go to Mark in Minnesota. What's up, Mark? <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, have Roland go with him. Roland can video the whole thing, and then Nico can take a video of Roland dropping some scat on one of these girls' chests. Well, I think Nico, I don't know if Roland's going to go with him. He's got Bruce shows to go to. <laughs> and uh, Roland's giggle in the background would be so distracting. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do anything with that giggle. I'd, I'd laugh. You think it's too funny? I, yeah. Are you gonna? You're gonna? Are you gonna do any video or anything? I mean, I. What do you mean? Like, are you gonna shoot anything? In general, or yeah. Yeah. Loads. 
Yeah. yeah. That's right, the attitude. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Hey. Hey, guys. Nuff said. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Matt in Michigan. Yeah, I just want to say I think this coming of age comedy is going to have a really dark twist. I think Mary Jean is going to bring in a third person to the room, oh, but boy. it's going to be some some stud. And uh, Nico's getting uh, pegged. What if? Let me ask you this, Nico. <laughs> oh, you think he's going to get pegged? Do you think Mary Jean's going to peg Nico? Put a strap on on. Oh no! What a twist! You know what being pegged is, Nico? No. It's, oh it's boy! Kind of sounds selfish. It, it's when a woman. Uh, puts... Wait, hold on. If it's self, I, I want to know what Nico thinks pegged is because he said it's self-explanatory. You're so much. You're so good, Dan. Well, no, I'm not. I'm just learning. <laughs> no, you're from right. You. I'm watching you be a you're broadcaster, right. Nico. What do you think pegging is? It's either a threesome or she's going to fuck him, and I'm going to watch. <laughs> It's neither of those oh, two boy. things. Oh, okay, buddy. Oh, Can I buddy. tell you something? It's way darker than that. It's much darker. Pegging, to my knowledge, is when uh, a woman will put a strap on on, and she will... Sam, uh, why are you rubbing your butt on your chair like you're excited? <laughs> I'm, and, yeah. and she, I'm getting, I'm getting my oh, butt's getting oh, naturally oh, lubed up. <laughs> so, uh -oh. I'm getting some of those natural butt juices going. Yeah, it, so there it is. It's anal sex reversed. Instead of the man sticking his penis up the woman's butt, <clears throat> the woman wears a strap on and sticks it up the man's butt. So he thinks that the man is going to fuck Mary Jean, I guess, from behind... While Mary Jean puts on a strap on and fucks oh, you. Oh, so Nico's about to get that human centipede dick. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Would you, would you, what if Mary Jean was like, I, I, I'll give you a hand job, but then I'm going to peg you. I'd have to think about that over the six weeks. <laughs> Well, what if I, what if Dude, right I, love now, the, I love the heavy holiday contemplation of Nico over a lake. Just like, would I let her fuck me in the butt? <laughs> I don't know. 2018 is a different year for old Nico. <laughs> Let's go to Sean in Texas. Sean, welcome to Jim Norton and Sam Roberts with Dan Soder. Hey, oh. man. Man, love the show. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Nico's the man. People are loving you, Nico. Nico, you're Nico. a tale of inspiration. <laughs> You, you you better come back a hero, dude. I will. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll wear a That's a lot of pressure in a Texas accent. He's like, you better. You better come back a hero. You better fuck. <laughs> oh, man. This is, I feel like we're, we're putting a lot of pressure on Nico, but I think there also is, you do need to know about stuff like pegging or that Mary you Jean. Do. Mary Jean's going to be around a lot of male performers yes. who are very good at sex. Very good at sex. You know, it's like, yeah, you want to play basketball with an NBA player, but NBA players like to play basketball with other NBA players. Yep. Here's the thing, Nico. You need to not worry about your performance whatsoever. If you bust in five seconds, who gives a fuck? Like, yeah, you man. know what I mean? Like, this is fantasy camp for this, you. Exactly. You're just putting on the jersey yes. and you're running around on the field. Yes. Just have fun, buddy. You're not supposed to be a pro. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Nope. Don't feel like don't feel the pressure that you're supposed to be a pro. You're just getting to run the bases because your dad knows somebody at the stadium, you know, or you know okay. one of the players. Yeah. Right, I get what you're saying. This is a make a wish kind of. This is this is a little bit of a make. <laughs> Let's stop wish. acting like this is <laughs> dad's got pulled. This is more. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you beat me in the ring. One, Nico, two, three. <laughs> Nico, you're a wrestling fan, right? Yes. This is like you uh, you getting to jump up on the top rope be because you have. Uh, fatal cancer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is you've got three months to live, yeah, and uh, a, Triple H is going to let you pin him. <laughs> you have a terminal disease, so you get to be, you know, Nico the Mauler or whatever your, yeah. your, your wrestling name is. That's what this is like. Is. You don't have to pull off the finish. I don't. Right? I, this I is should. just fun for you. Just yeah. get entry. Yeah. yeah. How did this all come about? Did you, just did you tweet at Mary Jean? I sent her a DM, but she never read it. <laughs> she did, so but she, she called She you. never read it. So I, I told Anthony, if she was serious about it, tell her to call me. Give her my number. And then, like, an hour later, she called me on the phone. Oh, man. Oh, dude, when that phone went off, okay. he's on his top and, bunk, and he's just like, what is that? <laughs> and Anthony kind of got cocked a little bit in that scenario. Why? Because he was... Shitloaf. I mean, if you're like... Because Shitloaf brought Mary Jean out to lunch once. Really? Yes. And then uh, uh, Nico goes, hey, Shitloaf, give Mary Jean my number. He does it, and Mary Jean's like, hey, you want to go to Vegas and stay in a hotel for five days? And Shitloaf's just like, what the fuck? What about my lunch? Uh, Will in New York. Hey, what's up, boys? Hey, man. Uh, that's what I was calling about. I, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't an uh, uh, old horn dog Shitloaf trying to get with Mary Jean? <laughs> and um, I just want to know, uh, Sammy, if you could use your amazing uh, last professional broadcasting skills to, <laughs> to describe to us just how... Uh, jealous shitloaf is, and if he's going to revert to salt loaf. Oh, well, that's it. Uh, yeah, because he's he gets to be salt loaf when uh, when he fucks up, and we point it out. But is uh, have you noticed any jealousy behind the scenes? 
of other staffers? Not well. You didn't come in really. here with like Charlie and the Golden Ticket energy. <laughs> no, I should have. Is Anthony in there, Travis? Yeah, he's here. Okay, real quick. Let me just uh, let me just catch his vibe, and then we'll uh, and then we'll move on. I'm really happy for him. I'm that really happy. and let me tell you 100%. right now, as someone that just watched him say that, he was looking down like the fucking blind slide guitar player in Roadhouse. He didn't even You're wait. Full of shit. He didn't even wait for the question. You're so full of shit. He just ran in. The I'm really happy you for him, I swear. Out, Shitloaf, the second you found out he was going to Vegas, you're like, oh, well, I'm happy for him. Don't give him that Oscar fucking I didn't win the award speech. <laughs> wouldn't oh, you, they're all great actresses. Shut up. You're angry. Be wouldn't angry. You have, wouldn't you have liked to have gone? I mean, yeah, but I'm ah, glad he's going. I Why are you glad it. he's going? He's just happy to be nominated. Yeah, why are you he's, glad he's going? Because he, you know, he can he he needs this. Dude, it's he's like a fantasy camp. This man. really oh, is. Please. This is such a concession speech at the end of every fucking award show and football game where they're like, uh, you know, there's the better team. They played better today, and they're gonna go on. And you know, I wish them the best, man. They represent the AFC, and God bless them in the Super Bowl. I'll probably get texts from Anthony every single minute. What's going on? What's happening? What's oh going yeah. On? What's happening? Oh yeah. And this guy goes. This guy goes. Oh, Nico needs it. As if Anthony's not a guy yes. who's also in his twenties, oh. living in his mom's house. <laughs> Anthony, thanks for crawling out of that pool of pussy to answer that question. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, you've done all your porn star trips. <laughs> yeah. So Nico Sorry. needs this one. Uh, Anthony's all tired from fucking all those professional porn stars. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not so wiped out you can answer that question. What do you mean Nico needs this? <laughs> yeah, everyone needs this. Yeah. You don't, you don't. This Every isn't, man with a penis. <laughs> this isn't your thing? <laughs> I mean, it's obviously my thing. He goes, I don't know, I'm that's... just, I, like, like I said, I'm very happy for him. I'm so proud of him. So not. What are you I, proud I, of him? Like, like, what, what, who are you to be proud of, Nico? You're not. Yeah. You haven't what? taught him anything. You haven't. Like, <laughs> he's not funny. like. You guys are 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 within a a, a pubic hair of being equal. This is the equivalent. Yeah. Of, this is the equivalent of Nico going like, Hey, Anthony, can you pick me up a scratch off when you're out at lunch? Yeah. And then he goes, I got you a scratch off. And then Nico's in the office. And he goes, hey, I wanna. One a million dollars. You you want to know what he got me for my last day? What scratch offs? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I hope they I win. hope he wins. And I hope you pay for a big ass hotel room and you just fuck <laughs> Mary Jean. I mean, fuck her well, dude. Yeah. You know, I, I guess before we go to break, uh, we should kind of address that uh, Nico. I, I felt like we were very celebratory to our intern Nico before we went on a uh, winter hiatus, which is what we call it instead of Christmas break. Um, because he, on his own volition, decided to go to Las Vegas and in between his intern semesters, because he's coming back at the end of the month when the intern semester starts again. But in between the two semesters, just as a as a as a person was accompanying Mary Jean to, to the, the AVNs. Yeah, to, he was. He got a plane ticket. He was going to Vegas to the AVNs. He was doing the whole thing. And at some point over break, I got a DM from Mary Jean, and uh, she threatened to punch me. But, <laughs> but, uh, and, and then she started tweeting about it that Nico said he was not, he kind of panicked backed out. and backed out at the last minute and said, I'm not going, I can't go, I can't go, I'm not going. So he said he bought the plane tickets. Yeah. So did he just lie? Would... Why are you are you hearing that he did not buy them? I'm asking. Did he did buy anybody them? Anybody see? Company? I saw. He showed me when he first told me he was going. His presentation of it was in some kind of trip advisor registration thing. Like it looked like book tickets to me. I mean, I didn't. Yeah, a trip advisor. You can just get an itinerary of what might happen. It was an itinerary, so it could have been not purchased. I bet he didn't buy them. <laughs> I wonder if he did buy them or no. I bet he didn't. So his excuse he gave was he had jury duty. I also bet he stole the camera. You think Do you so? think so? Definitely. Why? Well, Just... this is the second like big lie, right? The first lie was when he when he did that whole "I have had sex one time," and I don't fault a guy for lying about being that a one. I understand, but wait, when you start making up an entire backstory. And keep going and going and going. That's where it gets. We don't forget how many people's backstory gets gets questioned line by line on radio. Like, he's a young guy. So you know, he's a virgin. He's a little embarrassed. He makes it up. And it's supposed to be a one thing and done. But then he's, well, no. It was, and we keep asking him, who is she? Show her. So we keep asking him. And then he just has to create. It wasn't like he came in and created a whole bunch. We kept asking him, and every time we asked him, he yeah. we, we took a step I mean, forward, he backed up. We I, stepped forward, he stepped back. I was happy when he 
came forward. Yeah, I, I said did. I, I was too. So yeah. I was like, okay, no, that's cool. I think it takes back a lot of it. But then, you know, there, there's obviously something, because it's not jury duty. No. So You could postpone jury duty. Of course you can. So Did he say jury duty? Yes, that's, oh, he's blaming it on jury duty. I got it. jury. <laughs> he said, he said that's he a can't. 1967 excuse. He said he can't postpone it, but um, yes, he can. It could be yeah. so my be out of town. My th- big theory is that his parents told him he couldn't go. Uh, of course, that's what happened. That's what that's what happened. But I do wonder if he bought the ticket or not. You know, I mean, I don't think that, and that you know, I don't know. Uh, th- if he planned from the beginning to not go and he was just kind of telling us that he was going because he that doesn't make sense because we didn't ask him to go and we didn't ask him if he was going. He just came forward one day and was like, hey, by the way, I'm doing this. Yeah. You know, we mentioned it on the air, but we were joking around. You know, we didn't. Yeah. We didn't try to put this thing together. He just came in one day and said, I'm going. So it'd be weird if that was a lie. Travis, you think that was a lie? Yeah. You don't think he bought the ticket at all? <laughs> no. Wow. No. If he didn't buy the ticket at all, then that's like... I definitely want to see... That's like liar... Like, like a receipt. You want to see a receipt? Yeah, why not? And, wh- and what about the I camera? Love, you I would think love he took to be it? wrong. If he's lying about buying the ticket altogether, then he probably took the camera. If he's lying, if he comes in and just makes it up out of the blue, hey, I bought this ticket, I'm going. Or left the camera somewhere. If he bought the ticket, I'll I'll change my... Theory. Right, you know. Right, that's <laughs> maybe. I don't know if he stole the camera, may, but maybe he yeah. was so sloppy with it and left it somewhere so yeah. obvious to be taken that when one of those workers, they said there were so many workers going in he's and out, he's responsible for the loss, and he yeah. knows he's responsible. If if he didn't buy the ticket, I would st- love to be wrong because I, I like I like Nico. Either way, I Me think too. that he was responsible by by being sloppy. I don't think he took it and put it in his pocket. I mean, I just for no, what? It's too big. Yeah, yeah. Like, why would he? Um, I think he's a thief. I, I think that he probably would just fucked up. Yeah. I just, yeah, I, I, I really want to know now if he bought that ticket or Honestly, not. I want to see an email confirmation. In my mind, he bought the ticket, and he just got cold feet, and his mom yelled at him, and he had to make up an excuse. And I don't mind him making up an excuse to not go. Like, the jury duty lie doesn't bother me, because he doesn't want to admit to Mary Jean that his mom won't let him go. And, if, you know, if he can't, he lives with his parents. His parents won't let him go. His parents won't yeah, let him go. Yeah, they let him close the door. Right. They're not going to let him go to Vegas with a porn star. Right. <laughs> like, why yeah. would he, uh, why would he, uh, tell them? Why do you tell mom and dad you're doing that? You're an adult. You can't just leave the house for a week. Yeah, you go on a vacation. He's going? never been anywhere by himself. Yeah, go on to Vegas. You, no, it is so atypical. Yeah, plus, the name Mary, plus the name Mary Jean sounds so wholesome. You yeah, mean my friend Mary Jean. Oh, she sounds like a lovely girl. There is nothing in Nico's... Meanwhile, she's kickboxing someone. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing in Nico's life that makes a trip by himself to Las Vegas typical. Maybe not, yeah. Nothing. Like, well, he's never been anywhere by himself. I want to know. He hasn't he... been on a plane since he's three years old. <laughs> Rob, what do you think? You know Nico. You, you, you text with Nico, right? Um, no, not not on a regular basis. But you but have. Like, yeah, yeah, about you know, probably this, especially... Interact him with him more than us. Yeah, especially when he, um, kind of, like, when this all came about, I was like, what happened? He just, like, said the whole, oh, yeah, I have jury duty, and if I don't get out of it, uh, I'm going to be fined $500 and held in contempt. Oh, held in contempt? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how we feel about you. Right. <laughs> so why don't you do me a favor? Can, why can't we get him on the phone? I'm sure uh, we could. Sure. Let we me, should just let give me him call. a quick question. Do you do you think that he bought the ticket? I think the same thing as you. He bought I think the ticket. He bought the the t- men are attractive. Too. Yes. I don't think that. <laughs> all not all men. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he bought the ticket, and then just his parents. I'm guessing his mom yelled, found out, or yelled at him because he said that he told his dad. That he said he, he told like, his dad was going with a porn star, and his dad was like, "Okay, son." Like that but then, yeah like his mom was the one who was really the hard edge you know and his, didn't he say that his dad said just don't tell your mother yeah something along those lines i don't you know he's it, he's a strange kid. shit love calling him or no yeah, yeah, yes is he? okay okay good. all right yeah 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 so yeah. you think you you think yeah because i'll be disappointed if he never bought the if he never bought the ticket at all i would be very upset yeah especially since like yeah this whole you know he, he was very pumped He's at work. He's going to try to cut away and call in. Just tell him we need a little of that slick talk. Yeah, we got a break for five minutes anyway. It's 925, so we'll take a quick break. 
All right, I can give you... We got two things I can do. All right, cool. I can play for you the new Justin Timberlake song that everybody's talking about. Or kill yourself. Tough option. Right. I mean, when I say everybody's talking about it, I mean everybody who's not... I, have, our, I have my vote. Everybody who's not in our audience except Travis. <laughs> well, I don't know, Travis. Wait, what's the other option? Nico update. That's I a would, tough, tough a, one. They they look similar. I will take the Nico update. Wait, who looks similar? <laughs> Nico and JT. True. Okay, so... I was informed this morning... <laughs> That a hot dog did some investigative reporting. Good for him. Hot dog thinks of himself as a young Roger Stone. And he did some investigative reporting. And uh, apparently he found out that uh, Nico's jury duty story was a falsity. Yeah, it seems like it. W How did he find that out? He asked. Uh, he, got, he got Nico texting him. And Nico said he didn't want to admit it, but it was a falsity. Um. Nico said that uh, he he didn't want to admit that uh, he was having concerns about the financial part of the trip. Although, the quotes that he had still seemed suspicious because it was like stuff he wouldn't have to pay for. He was like, well, Mary Jean doesn't have a hotel yet, and I'd have to pay for, like, her outfits and I have to pay to take her to baggage. dinner and her baggage. And, and it's like all this stuff that he wouldn't have to pay for. Yeah, what are you talking about? Why don't you just, uh, do we have him on the phone? Rob's trying. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Do you want me to read what he said? I would love to. Oh, wait, I think he's on. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Wait one second there, babe. Maybe he's calling him. All right, let's just see uh, what happens. See Rob, if he gets Rob's him. calling him. Oh, uh, yeah, Rob. You don't have to talk like that. Why? It's it's you know, sexy, you... and sultry, and radioish. Well, is mean, that what that is? For some ahead. people, maybe. Right. You know. Um, That's unproven. Yeah, definitely. Definitely unproven. That's that the weirdest thing. There's something on what? his cockhead. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's not one of those penis things. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing in the world. Uh, okay, what did he say to Hot Dog? So Hot Dog said something, and then uh, he said, Starters, wait, lost my place. Starters, Mary Jean never booked a hotel, nor looked into it. Again, not, 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 not a, relevant. Not yeah. Not not Nico's concern. And I'm sure she's going to because you still, she's you, going to the awards. Right at the time of the cancellation, it was almost a month out still. So yeah. not yeah. not yeah. not relevant. Mary Jean maybe last minute at times. I could see that. Really? I could see her being a little last minute. But then again, she has a business running, so she doesn't know how to put some shit together. She does. But again, like maybe hotel, hotel travel a bit last minute. Hotel is nothing for him to worry about. He's right. got his plane ticket. Yeah. He's going to get to Vegas. And perhaps yeah. that's something that somebody else does for her. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, going to need to pay. For mine and Mary Jean's baggage. How much is that? hundred bucks each? All right. Okay, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Use carry-on. Wait, wait, wait. He can use carry-on. Why would he be paying for Mary Jean's checked baggage? I don't know. He wouldn't. So we can alleviate that concern. Okay. We need some money for a tux plus Mary Jean's outfit. Okay, well, if he really wants to wear a tux, he could rent one sure. for a hundred bucks. We could figure that out for him. I don't think Nico needs to be responsible for Mary Jean's outfit to the porn awards. Nor do I think that she requested that. No? Yeah. No, pretty oh, sure boy. she wasn't like, oh, Nico, you're coming? Cool. Buy my stuff. And he's yeah. going to wear a tux? You can pay. What the fuck's he doing? You can pay for my luggage. I can't marry you, idiot. <laughs> a tux. <laughs> pay for my luggage and wear a tux. <laughs> uh, need money to get a ride to the airport the day of the flight and money for a ride once I am in Vegas to get from the airport to a hotel if a hotel is even going to be booked. Okay, he does need money to get to the airport, which isn't that much. You know, it's just a cab to the airport. Uh, I don't think that he would need money for a car once he gets to Vegas, because Mary would take care of that. Yeah. Why would Mary take care of her? She's not even taking care of her dress. That's actually a great point. Or a hotel. Okay. Jeez, you guys are so stupid. You're okay. not following. No, you're right. Sorry. Uh, some money just to have so I can feed Mary Jean, let alone myself. Oh, my God. So, he's that, first of all, he doesn't need to pay for Mary Jean's meals. No. Yeah. Second of all, he doesn't need spending cash. <laughs> like, and why, but why not just say that I'm having money problems? Yeah. Money to take Mary Jean out anywhere. That's the exact same thing as the other thing. It's feeding her. Yeah, yeah. feeding so, her. Feed her. She, that's not a petting zoo. I don't have enough spending money. Yeah. So then Hot Dog says, uh, so why not just say this is the reason, instead of acting like you can't postpone jury duty in New Jersey? <laughs> Hot dog is great. <laughs> He's the best. <laughs> because this was totally unsolicited. Nobody asked him to do this. Uh, and Nico writes, uh, it's embarrassing to say I'm poor. 
But it's not She's embarrassing like, to get caught lying all I the time. I didn't want to just say all that shit about her. She would have denied it. But there's also Why, you're not bad like, her. And I don't think Nico's poor. I think he's broke. He's 20. He just got out of college. Yeah, like, that's kind of what Hot Dog said in so many words. He did? Yeah. Oh. You said you're 20. Of course you're poor. Right. Like, it's not, yeah, there's, it's, it's a big difference between being poor and just being a broke 20 year old. Did he think that Hot Dog was just going to keep the conversation between them? <laughs> I would assume so. Oh, shit. You'd be very wrong. Was Hot Dog uh, doing this just to screen cap it and, uh, and send it? I mean, him? I don't know what time he spoke to Nico, but he texted me at 8 o'clock last night. <laughs> I would imagine not 7. a lot of time 55. Yeah. <laughs> and, and did Handsome Rob say he had addendums? Do you have addendums, Rob? He's looking at me like he does not know what that means. I don't either. No. More to it. Yeah, like changes. Or maybe uh, Hot additions. Dog said. Somebody said he... Oh, does does Rob have more? Oh, no, he just <laughs> now he's that he just knows the definition. Excited still. that he found out what addendum meant. Yeah, oh. word of the day. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Well, that's uh, it's an interesting update. I wish we could have got him on the. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't afford it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Troy is Troy is suggesting we start a GoFundMe for Nico, but like I don't see that being a big hit. He, he just lies. He lies. He does. Yeah, but let's let's take all his con financial concerns. I don't. I Let's don't. break them down because I just because I want to see this kid there and I want no excuses. I don't really want him there anymore. Yeah, he just lies. He lies all the time. It's, it's creepy. Don't you just want to see what happens though? He's not going. He won't go because his parents won't let him go. That's the the money yeah, is a the concern. Money, he's lying about the money too. But like, his parents won't let him go. Yeah, this is all lies too because he doesn't have to pay for any of this stuff. Like, no. is he a compulsive liar? He's a liar. Yeah, Un unless he's got like. Texts or DMs from Mary Jean saying like, "Hey, you got to pay for all my shit." Yeah. Then like, I yeah, don't believe then he's any lying. Of that. Yeah. Or just say that on the air. Also, he stole the camera. I I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I think he did too. You really do? I do. Why would he steal that camera? Because he's a fucking liar. Doesn't make sense. He lies. No, no, no. I know that, but that doesn't make sense to do as opposed to being sloppy and just leaving it out where someone walked in and. Took None it. of this makes any sense. None of the lies he's told make sense. But he thinks he's going to get away with it. But the, lying is the same compulsion, probably, as addiction. Addicts in the throw of it do things that make no sense they whatsoever. Do, but I don't see him taking the risk of stealing the camera that early. Yeah. I see him making a mistake of buffoonery and leaving it totally out. <laughs> I put it inside the thing. And yeah, one of the, cause there were so many workers. They said they looked at the cameras and there were so many workers going in and out of our office. Like they looked at the, at the security cam. That could have just been him being yeah, sloppy. I don't have. think a worker took it. They would have taken the DSLR. Yeah. It maybe, maybe he left it on top. It look, yeah, you're giving way too much of the benefit of a doubt. Of maybe. course, all that could have happened, but I, think that there's a high likelihood that he just grabbed it yeah like i would put him as the 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 guy that they think db cooper is yeah i would put nico as the as the guy that i think so. and he's got yeah and he looks like if he shaved his mustache he does look like he could be a chubby db cooper definitely so he's gonna be coming back to intern again <laughs> yeah because we didn't know he was all such a liar you know like i like we <sighs> is, is nico coming back nico nico you coming back to intern again yeah okay <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Anthony, are you feeling good? Because, like, Nico was, like, the favorite. Yeah, he was really all over Anthony. Yeah, he was, like, on you, like, white You had a rice. good day today. Are you, are you happy that, like, you got to have a good bit at the bookstore, and also we found out that Nico is probably a, a pathological liar? Yes. You are happy. About at 100%. Good. You see, there's some honor. Uh, you know, special day. New intern started here at Sirius XM. That is true. And our old pal... Nico has returned for his cool. second semester. Uh, he's now wearing a collared shirt. His mustache is uh, about a month more fuller. He I looks thinner. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. No, I thought he looked a little, little thinner. Maybe he's wearing a bigger mm, shirt. Yeah, maybe a bigger shirt. And you don't think his mustache is a little trimmer, like well coiffed? I think it's well coiffed. I just think it's a fuller. It's it's less of a trash stash and more of a full man's mustache. He does look a little thinner. He does. I, t I told him that in the hallway. In the cheekbones. Yeah. Mm. He's uh okay. Again, you can sit over there. I'm not quite um, sure. I'd go. I'd go that far. What's up, Nico? Are you thinner, Nico? Did you lose a little weight? A little bit. How much? By five pounds. That's my man. What did you do to get it off? I went to work. <laughs> just walked back and forth, went to the gym after work. Yeah. Okay, so you went to the gym. Yeah. Okay. But I, I, I'm <laughs> okay, so. constantly moving at work, too, so... I see. Yeah. But at work, you work with cookies, right? Yeah, no. Must be very them. tempting. Yeah. Always. Must be very tempting. Mike, my little friend. So, uh, did you miss us? Always. 
Always. Always miss you guys. That's what I'm talking about. So now I guess I, I guess we should figure out exactly yeah. what happened. Um, what do you la- mean? The last we talked to him, mm-hmm. you were going to go to Las Vegas. Yes. Oh, yeah. But you you, how was it? Because oh, you had jury I, I, duty. I, I, yeah. How'd your jury duty go? All right, here's what happened with that. So after I talked with you guys, yeah. the week after, I called the jury duty office. All right. And then I, I told them that I had sent in a, a medical note. And then I asked them if they got it. Your they, dad sent it in, though. Yeah, okay. My dad sent it. But that's what happened, right? Just so we remember? We went to the post office together, so, yeah. Well, you said that your... Your dad... Your dad, dad he, it, yeah. he got a note from a doctor for you. You never saw yes. the note. No, I didn't, I, I didn't read the note. I didn't even go to no, the no, doctor. No, no, no. You right? said you didn't see the note. You yeah. said you didn't read the note. No, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't see the note. I didn't read you the note. You said your dad got a doctor's note when you were not there and then put it in an envelope. And no, the doctor put it in the envelope. Right, and yeah, it was okay. sealed. Yes. And so you, so you, I didn't see it. Right. Okay. So you got, you called, what happened? I called and I said, no, I sent, I sent irresponsible, by the way, with this doc. Extremely. Yeah. Very. On multiple levels. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the people lose their license yeah, for that. Definitely lose your license for that. You could, right? Absolutely. Okay. And a doctor shouldn't be talking to the father of an adult. You're an adult. Yeah. And How the fact that three weeks old uh, out, he said, no, you have a cold. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to get out of, that's right. Cause the note was sent. How far in advance of the jury duty was the note sent? At least three weeks. Uh, 14th. Of December. And when was jury duty? The 22nd of, of January. Jesus Christ. Okay, so we're talking five weeks. Yeah. Yes. So over a so month I, in advance. I called them the week after I talked But you to don't them. know what excuse the doctor gave that would be like, hey, just so you know, in five weeks. I do now. Oh. So when I called them, I said, no. I, I sent a medical note. Did you guys get it? And they go, no, because we didn't check our mail. And I was like, you didn't check your mail. <laughs> Leave it to this goddamn like, government. The jury, the hey, jury people. Mail. Thanks, Trump. Am I right? Yeah. The jury people said we don't check our mail. They didn't check their mail because of the holiday. Okay. And I was, right. So they told me okay. to email them the the note again, and then I found a copy of the note in the envelope with the other summons. So I have I, I emailed the picture of the of the note, the copy of the note. Oh. oh, cool. Can we see the note? Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Great. And they said, and they called me back right after I emailed them. They said we got your note. We'll let you know what happens. What so, did the note say? I'll tell you. All right. He's looking it up on his phone. Okay. And I didn't remember off the top of his head. No, I didn't remember off the top of my head. I mean, you got a lot going on up there. Yeah, I got a lot. You got to figure out where the fucking, work? where the chips ahoy go, Fact. where the Oreos go. Do I have to say the doctor's name? Or? No, 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 no. Please don't. Uh, so December 14, 2017, to whom it may concern, Campanile, Nicola, date of birth. Is that you? Uh, no, yes. yeah, that's me. Nico is is under my care for the following problems: attention deficit disorder and overactive bladder. <laughs> Mister can't <laughs> he can't pay attention and he has to make a lot. Of- <laughs> I get distracted and shit my pants. Now, now are, those, are those are those are uh, those ailments that you do actually yes. suffer from? You uh, have yes. an overactive bladder. I started realizing it a lot more the past year. The I past see. few months, I've, I've realized. How often more. do you have to go pee pee? When I'm not doing anything. Yeah. Probably a lot more often. You know what? I I, I'm with him. Because when I'm at work... Yeah, Jim has to make peeps a lot. When I'm at work, I, I, like, I go to the bathroom before I leave home. I, I can go to two stores within four hours and not go to the bathroom because oh, I'm constantly Oh, Nico, moving. that's incredible. But other than that, <laughs> if I'm not doing anything, I'll probably go every... I mean, three times in an hour. Word him up, Doc. It's probably bad. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Mr. Campanile is required to take medication to control these problems. I do not feel that he is physically capable of sitting for jury duty. I therefore ask that he be excused on a medical as well as humanitarian grounds. Humanitarian. Okay. Humanitarian. You know what? Maybe I'll say this. Is th- those are excuses that would work five weeks in advance. Yeah. Yes, they are. And it's something a doctor, if it had been your family doctor, if you if the dad called and goes, hey, the kid's got to do uh, jury duty, but you know he's like he pisses every ten seconds, and the, the doctor <laughs> the, the doctor may already know those things exist. Yeah. You know what? That's a believable doctor's note. Yeah. I believe you, because that sounds like something a doctor would absolutely be, a, be comfortable writing without you going in. Because when I realized this was on the fourteenth of December, and I called on the tenth, I was like, <laughs> this, "That was long. That's almost okay. a month." Yeah. So you didn't have to do jury duty, and you knew you didn't. Have I didn't. To. I didn't get excused until the nineteenth. I didn't get a note in the mail until of the January. Yeah. So then the January 19th, I came home from work. There was a green letter that had my name on it and said you had been excused. And you were like, yeah. So I didn't know it. Well, yeah, at that point. You're like, yes. Let me go piss real quick. Exactly. Right, right. Did you notice that while you were sitting down in the toilet tinkling? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Let me go get my mail. I'm going to open it on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's, Gotta uh, go pee. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's what happened, huh? Pretty much. What do you mean pretty much? I also didn't have enough money to go to Vegas. <laughs> So I, I didn't have enough money to cover my part of the share. So I just, at that point. What I, was your part of the share? Well, I paid for the tickets. And then Mary Jean was like, 
Well, we she was to, gonna pay you back for her tickets. She said that, and then afterwards, she she didn't say when or if she was. So I didn't I didn't really care at that point. Okay. And she told me that we would. She kept saying we would split the cost for the hotel. But I was I didn't. How much is the hotel gonna cost if we keep if we were waiting? I don't right. know how long I had to wait. And then when I checked it before, I told her I wasn't gonna go. I checked it again, and the cost just kept going up. And I that was more than I even had. How much is half? Am I gonna pay? Right. Uh, yeah, you should have said that. That that again. That makes again, sense. I, Hotels I felt, go up. I felt embarrassed because if I said I didn't have money, you guys would think less of me. <laughs> we couldn't. We yeah. No, that's why I didn't want to say. We don't, Plus, you got to buy your outfit. Yeah, I got buy. Nigo, you're not supposed to have money. You're an intern. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? Why would we think less of you if you don't have money? I don't know. Why would you have money? You just got out of college. I don't have <laughs> enough money. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't have any money. You just got out of college. You got why, that cookie money. Yeah. yeah, you put cookies on shelves. Why would anybody think that you had like, oh, Nico, he's rolling a dough. You know what I mean? Yeah. Guys who work for us don't have any money, and they get paid here. Yeah. You know? You got money, Troy? No. See? Ask me. I'm not going to ask you, Jim. You're going to... Ask Jim, me. Jim, do you have money? Fuck yeah. Okay. And then when I... That doesn't help yeah, anyone. That's not good for morale. <laughs> and I just felt bad for that. So I just... I felt like I let her down, let you guys down. No, you were right. I just... Yeah. I felt like shit. You should have. Right. Yeah. Not for not having money, but for just not telling everybody. Well, yeah, that... Yeah, don't play a role. Just say I didn't have it. We don't, we don't think less of you. Maybe we would have helped you out. Maybe we would have helped you on a plane ticket. I didn't realize that at that point. Travis, what information did you have from... Hot dog? Oh, to the hot D. Dog. From hot dog? That was funny. <laughs> what was funny about it? It was just, it was just randomly he when he texted me. <laughs> what did you, what was funny? What was random? I don't understand. He, he pretended to play you. I did hear that that hot dog started texting text, me. Yeah, and it's like it's like, hey, Nico, this is Sam Roberts. And first off, <laughs> oh, first, first and last off, name. I get <laughs> hi, I'm Sam Roberts. I get caller ID on my phone, and it goes Cheyenne Martin. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <what> an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right, let me play along. Right, let <laughs> me see not? what he's doing. This point doesn't make sense. Right, <laughs> Hot Dog really didn't realize caller ID would give him away. He because texted I didn't me. Have his number. He, Hot Dog did text me like afterwards, and he was like. Hey, I texted Nico today and I told him I was you. I was like, okay, well, you should just tell him it's you then. Like, I don't, don't and then, and then I he, don't want you to do that. He texted me, he texted me at seven o'clock and then he texted me two more times and he didn't text me at all. So he told me to get in touch with Mary Jean. And I was like, all right, I'll send Mary Jean a text message because I had, I had offered her to make it up to her because I felt like shit when I told her I wasn't going to go. And then she said she'd think about it, but I figured that wasn't going to happen. So then. Uh, I texted him back at like 10.30 and I texted Mary Jean around 8, 8.30 and I texted him at 10.30 because I figured if it's the Sam Roberts, he'd probably answer back at 10.30, but he didn't answer back right. until the next day at the same time. And he goes, huh. Because that's, that's when he sends his Sam Roberts text. text. The same, the same, around I the see. same time, 7, 7.30, he goes, huh, that's weird. Send me a screenshot. Like, All right, send you a screenshot. Sent him. And he goes, do you know what he's talking about? Yeah, in a way, yeah. He's basically just saying that hot dogs are dope with right. slick. Okay, okay, that I can get. And the next day, when I talk to you guys that that day, he goes, "Oh, it's it, it's a hot dog." And I'm like, "Dude, I know that." <laughs> no, you don't. It's like, yes, I do. I have call right, dude. He goes, "No, you don't." It's like, "Yes, I do." <laughs> you already knew. Yeah, yeah, that's like, great. Like Cheyenne, <laughs> I so saved the number, and then his like, contacts come up on my. <laughs> but what did he tell Hot Dog he was worried about? Yeah, all Pay, I'm paying for everything. Yeah, at well, that point, going to need like, to pay yeah. for mine and Mary Jean's baggage. Need some money for a tux plus Mary Jean's outfit. Yeah, that, that one I just threw in there. I, that, that was probably Need true. money to get a ride to the airport the day yes, of the flight. I that get that. I That's it. fine. Money for a ride once I'm back. I get that. Uh, some money just to have so I can <laughs> feed yeah. Mary Jean. She told me that we were going to split costs down when we get there. We we're going to, whatever we do, whatever we eat, we're going to split You want a little advice? Money probably. to take Mary you know Jean out do? anywhere? When you get to Vegas? Yeah. Just don't give her any fucking money. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're like you got your own money. Yeah, what are you going to do? But I figured... Since Be like, here's what you do. Yeah. Plane tickets are in my name. Put the hotel in your name. And then yeah. she's like, okay, give me half the money. And you can be like, no, I'm not giving you anything. Yeah, but the, I understand I the lad the being nervous. The lad was, nervous. was nervous. How much would I have to pay out of the hotel? Because I didn't have nothing. As, well, I didn't know that because I didn't know just when she was going to. I, I realize that now is probably what I should have done. It's just I had not done anything after I paid well, for the ticket. I think the boy is saying that he didn't know. He thought he had to split it. So the boy is saying that as the cost kept going up because as it gets closer, they do go up. Fish. My account. The boy got down. frightened. Yeah, but who said you had to pay for Mary Jean's outfit? No. He just said that. I just said that. That one's. But, that one I, I just threw in there. But she's got to go to the AVNs, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you so hair like Kim Jong Un. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Did you get your hair cut at the DMZ? <laughs> no. Oh. Um, she's got to stay in a hotel. She's yeah. got to go to Vegas for this yes. award show. Yeah. So if you don't book that hotel, she will. Which means the hotel's getting booked. I mean, so yeah. if she's like, hey, give me half the money, you can be like, yeah, I'll get you later. And <laughs> just not yeah. give her the money ever. Right? Yeah. Like that's one I realize way to, that now. Right. I start thinking about it more 
carefully or more. How did your parents feel about you going? Truthfully, uh, they're come on. I, after like at first, like I said, they weren't really. Tell the truth. They weren't really happy with it, but they were Close like, man. you know what? If you want to do it, do it because it's my money, and they weren't giving me any money. They want nothing to do with it. Right. They, you're want, they said if anything happened, star? yeah. If they yeah. said if anything happened to me, they weren't going to be liable. They don't. What want would happen to you? I don't know. But they what 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 I would be was, forced yeah. into an adult film. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> but yeah, but. Uh, I didn't know if a hotel was going to be booked, and I was like, what if I get there, and then there, there's no hotel, or there's, well, nowhere for me, there's nowhere for me to stay, and I was like, what if I get stuck there, and I'm like, I don't have any money to get back. Well, you would have called someone, and we would have got you back. Who would I call? Not me, but I mean, Thanks. so much <laughs> And I didn't want yeah, to, I didn't, I didn't want to ask you guys for money, because I felt like, um, now I'm just borrowing money, and I don't feel comfortable doing that. Right, you don't want to borrow money I didn't want to take money from, from her, nonetheless, mm. because I didn't like that either. Um, I heard from Mary Jean, uh, he said, uh, he also said he had jury duty and that the judge called his house yesterday and told him he can't miss his court date or he'll go to jail. Did the judge call your house? No. In the letter it said I'd get a five hundred dollar fine and held in content or imprisonment. Content? Content. Contempt, I'm probably Contempt. Saying. So why did the judge call your house? No, he didn't she didn't call the house. Why'd you say that? Because I felt it'd be it was a lie. Here's the, you here's just, wait, you thought that was a believable lie? lie. The judge called oh, yeah. my house? Oh, my God. <laughs> Nico, Mary Jean saw through you. Yeah, you know, yeah that's, I realized that's, that's, that. He, she also said, uh He's not, and this is just her words, okay. no accusations. Mary Jean said, he's not loyal at all. He said you guys pressured him into something he couldn't handle and that other shows want him, like Sway and Jenny McCarthy. No, no, no. Comment? No, no, no. Nico? Comment, Nico? Comment? I said, Because I, I believe no. the point was made uh, uh, multiple times that nobody you even asked you, you to do this. You weren't pressured, but I, was, I started realizing my main concern was the cost of the hotel, and I started realizing that was going up, and it wasn't much... There wasn't even booked yet. I was like, all right, what else am I going to have to pay for? And I felt bad for myself because I, I'd have no money. But because I was letting you guys down, I didn't want to ask you guys for money to send me out there because I didn't want to, like, take money from you guys or her. And then I told her that I, I'm, I'm, I was honored that she asked me to go. And then I, I was fortunate enough to be here on this show because I wasn't even supposed to be on this show. I well, was, apparently I, not with Sway and Jenny McCarthy no, no, fighting I, over she here. She asked Clamoring. me if I was coming back, and I said yes. But I had interviewed for Sway before I decided to come back here. But These originally, ain't loyal. Be These hoes ain't more. Originally, before I got to here, I interviewed with Jenny. That's how she asked me how I got here. I see. Okay. I see. Hmm. Was, was there ever really any jury duty? There was. Yeah. Can I see the doctor's note? Yeah. I want to. Well, show the note. He has the. Do you have the. You must have the original notice, too. Of course you do. If you have a picture of it. The jury duty notice. Down. Huh? I the summons? It's down. No, it's not written down. Let me see. What's Travis? Let me see the doctor's note. One second. I'd like to see. Is it on Doctor's No Stationery? Loose leaf. Loose leaf. He's <laughs> not answering your question. No, he's not. Let me see. You sample, tell me. Okay. It's not. I'm gonna. That's I'm gonna hold it. I promise you, it will not screw with your phone. So there has been. There's a heading on it with a doctor's name on it. Why would I just make up a name? And you you lie a lot. Good point. I wouldn't yeah. be able to come up with that. <laughs> Why would I lie? Exactly. Can I see that too, Sam, yeah. when you get a chance? Yes, I'm just going to put in the address. Googling that's on the note. real? Yeah. I bet it's real. Dr. Vinny. No. Yeah. Bots. <laughs> I bet it's real. I, I bet you. I don't think Nico would go to that. No, no offense, Nico. I think the boy is not swift enough. I don't that's think just, so that's either. That's just too much planning. About as sharp as a bag of wet, wet mice. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's see. That'd be even more stressful. Just all right, this uh, like. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's not. A, he's not. A, he's not the sharpest. I, no, I don't think not. he is. Okay, it is. It is a, I, I think a medical legit. address. Yeah, I think he's right. I, I don't think that he's faking this part. I did. The judge did not call your house. No, no, didn't call my. I called them to find out about the note. They called back to tell me that they received the note and they would let me know if I'd be excused. And then I got the letter in the mail the 19th. The whole note store, I believe <coughs> yeah, there are, right. hey, I believe the note's real, but I believe there are many holes in the story of the note. It doesn't yes. make sense that, uh... You don't know think the judge called? The judge did not call his house. There was right, no... Judge Wapner, I know you've been sworn to have read your complaint. Yeah. Uh, Doug Llewellyn thought that I should call and yeah. find out where you, what, what your plan is here. I, I don't think, uh... I don't think that your dad got the note without you being around. Um, I don't know. You know why I might believe that? Because, is that your family physician? Yes. How long you know him? Uh, How long has he known about your tinkle problem? 
like two years. <laughs> the, 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 no, if it's a family so. situation, the, the dad might know the doctor and say, "Look, hey, Nico's got a jury duty, but he's got this internship. It's kind of hard." Because he's I've been, he's I've been told though. by multiple places about. But they, but again, if it's a family the relationship. Yeah. They may he, he may have been able to override the fact that he's an old just by going, Hey, would you mind shooting him a jury duty note because this the doctor Nico? may have said yes. At one point did you not want to tell us about your overactive bladder? Yes. But that's, I figured you guys probably realized because I go to the bathroom a lot. That's that's I I think that Nigo did not want to tell us you think so? about his overactive bladder and ADD. And, yeah, I don't want and to so he made pretend like he didn't know what the note said, but he knew what the note said. Is that true? Yeah. Well no, I didn't know what the note said until I saw the copy on the nineteenth. I still. I, oh, I, I see I what he's saying. I didn't know what the note said until yeah. I read the copy. When yeah, he's that, saying that the copy came back with the actual note, no, no, the copy. He knew what the note said. I think he, he knew that it said that he made pee pee too much. He did. He, did. he didn't want. He couldn't pay attention. Pee and poo poo. He, he didn't. He didn't want to. Tree. Talk. He does it on the bus in his pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his trousers. Do you have problems with your with your pee pee and poo poo too? Yeah. Just. Do you have dirty underwear? No. How often? How often what? Dirty underwear. That was just that one time. And like, I mean, but what about said, sometimes little tinkle stains? <clears throat> tinkle no. drops? Do you wear boxers or briefs? Boxers. That's smart. That sure is. Because otherwise it packs everything in, doesn't it? It sure does. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I still think that there are holes. There are in some. The, in I, the doctor's note story, but I believe that that's a real doctor's note. And I believe he was afraid of being financially embarrassed. Yeah. But Nico lies for, for dumb shit. Like, Very stupid. You don't need to lie about not having money. No one looks down on you for not having money. Nobody thinks you have money. Yeah, no I one expected money. you to have money. You're an intern and you work at a shop right or whatever. You're just you're a young guy and you're up and coming. Yeah. How old are you? 20. What 20 year olds got money? Not me. Yeah. None of them. No, There's no 20, 20 year olds. Year olds. Uh, Prince Harry and Charles probably did. I shouldn't have brought. Yeah, you're right. There are a couple. There some. Are, yeah, there are Justin some. Justin Bieber. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's doing very well. A lot of money. Yeah. I got a question. Sure. The, Troy one, comment? Direct, the one Direction kids? Yeah. Yeah. Do you, uh, do you guys think that the jury duty story is completely made up? Or do you think that that is real? You know... Well, why would the doctor's note exist? I don't think that he... The jury duty thing is... I don't think anyone panics that much over jury duty because you're allowed to miss it. However, a boy of this um, capacity may panic over jury duty and not understand that if you have a real excuse, you can miss it. Or or he just lied, and now he has to cover up his lie. That's possible. I think that he got very, uh... I think he just got cold feet about the trip. Somebody is saying something here. John in New Jersey, why do you feel this way? You might be right, Sam. What's up, John? Oh, he hung up. Oh, he hung up. He's up my fake the doctors. Scared. No, okay. He got very scared. Yeah, I think that almost... The, the, most of this story is just about Nico getting cold feet about the trip. It's a lot of mysteries in this story. There really are. Well, Travis, what do you have a question about? I mean, okay. everything. What don't I have a question about? Okay, I do have... <clears throat> yeah, this is a summons. I'm looking for a date. 12-12. You must respond within 10. Can I read your address on the air? No. Okay. Please don't. <laughs> um, but I do think he panicked. Especially about... How much Vegas would cost? Yeah, the cost is what yeah. really worried me. You shouldn't have panicked. I mean, I got yeah, I, I got a little nervous about the trip, but I mean, I wanted to go. But well, the money, was, the money. Oh, I also don't. I, I don't yeah. believe you about getting the money back for your plane tickets. That uh, makes no sense. Yeah, no. Yeah, what happened with the money? With the I, only, I only got it back from Virgin. But you didn't book through Virgin. You booked. I booked through, through Hotwire. Right. The go. We were going on Virgin. They come nope. back. We come back on Delta. No, I don't believe that. There's no, holes in that story yeah. too. Yeah. Well, let's see what paperwork he's got a trail. Hotwire doesn't re refund money. Well, uh, he's got to have a receipt. Let's see an email. email. Let's see an email from Wait, email to what Hotwire? Yeah. yeah. You want the itinerary? And you had well the thing that says, "Hey, here's your money back." I don't have that. No, that's, in, that's in my uh, bank account. Oh. Uh, but they would have sent you an email saying your refund is being processed. Yes. I don't get those emails. No, no, no of course not. <laughs> nah. Those no. What did he say? The, send those in the... <laughs> I don't get those emails. Put that in the junk email folder. Why don't you get those emails? Because those go to my parents. <laughs> so you get those... Hang on, hang on, hang on. When I those started, go to your, those when go I to your parents. I started my bank account. I, I, I started my own bank account when I was 18. It was a, a joint account with my parents. Why? So, but that's I, okay. You don't need to be embarrassed about that either. Yeah, but so why they, with your parents? You, that's just you how have a joint email up. account? No, no, no. The I'm, talking, I'm talking about an uh, yeah, no, I'm talking about an email saying your refund is being, you know, processed. So the company that's issuing the refund, yeah, would send an email to the email address. I got a letter in the mail saying that I got to refund it in the mail. The actual Hot mail. Hotwire's not sending yeah. mail. You don't think Hotwire sent him a letter in the no. mail? No, but not an email. No, it's an wait, online wait. company. You got a letter in the mail. Yeah. 
Unfortunately, obviously, you do not have that with you today. No, of course not. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that, that would be that would, that would be an issue. He's not bringing his like mail. Myself in a circle. He's not bringing yeah. his mail here. You that's know, well, you don't have the email either. No. Well, there was no email, just snail mail from hotwire.com. Why didn't they send you an email? They like stamps. Okay. They like to use stamps. Why wouldn't they send it to your email account? Why would they send it to your parents? I don't. His parents get the notes from the bank. Yes. Yeah. But not from Hotwire. No. Right. Where's your Hotwire mm -hmm. email? Check your spam folder. Okay. How about let's let's see any communication between you and Hotwire? For all Hotwire, I, hot I believe. Rates, by the way, I believe that he bought plane tickets. I did. That's not. That's not the issue. I don't. Even know I don't if I do that. I don't believe that he was reimbursed for one part of the flight. No. I mean, we're, we're looking at Hotwire website right now. It says uh, the all bookings are final and cannot be canceled, refunded, exchanged, transferred, or changed. Yeah, but you know what, Troy? They did it for him. They did, and they, oh, and they mailed him a letter. Nico, yeah. do, you see, do you see what that says right there? Right here? Do you see what that says? <laughs> well, it says, hot rates. For all hot wire hot rates, okay. bookings are final. Unless the Virgin flight was not a hot rate. Okay, Arthur in Toronto. Maybe it was a, just like a cool rate. Arthur in Toronto, good idea. What's yeah. up, Arthur? Uh, hey, it's 2018. Let's see his mobile bank account. Mm. We, do you have the password for your bank? Of course he does. Or your, you have to. Or your parents have it. My parents have it. Right. See. All right, the that's password it. on the computer is saved, so I can view it, but I don't have it. Don't have what it about your phone. Hotwire account? Hotwire. Yeah, yeah. Hotwire account. Yeah, log into Hotwire. You have to log in. You have to have a Hotwire account to buy tickets, don't you, Travis? Yeah, yeah, of course you do. Sure. It's not like you can just be like, look, I'm going to sign in as a guest. I will pay you the money later. Send me a letter in the mail. Yes, yes. <laughs> Please mail me the tickets. I'm signed in as a guest. It was a handwritten <laughs> note. <laughs> This is uh, Eric Hotwire. Just wanted to let you know that the refund has been processed. Uh, you should have had it several days ago. Uh, we decided to send this in the regular mail. Yeah. Shouldn't there be... Ask your parents. Yeah, the banking we do digitally. Shouldn't there be some type of correspondence between him and Hotwire in, in email? Yes. A little. Of course there should be. A little bit. More than the itinerary. Nico, you get, what, what you correspondence? Get a email? You or get a... even a cancellation email. Yeah. Even if you don't get a refund. Mm -hmm. This flight has been canceled. And I, I, even if you think it would go to your parents' email, I don't right. see why it would. If it went to his parents' email, it wouldn't. then that means that the parents would have known about the original trip when no. he was booked. And also it wouldn't explain how he showed Sam the confirmation. Are your parents spending your money like Gary Coleman's parents? <laughs> true. You better watch them. They have a son There's of the same so height. so many holes. Yeah, you better make sure they're not spending all your cookie money. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get to a certain age and be like, finally, I can cash in on my cookie money that I've been making since I was a young man, and realize those parents of yours have cleaned out your account and all your cookie money's gone. You have nothing. So, wait, Travis, what are you saying? What what uh, original thing did he have? Well, I I, he showed in. Sam something. He can't sign in, unfortunately. Why, why can't you? I don't remember the password. D Sucks, man. No, no, just you got to reset a, email. Yeah, you can set, reset the password. You got to have a different there password oh, for every boy. account. You yeah. got to remember all. Yeah, reset things. the email. Just reset send, the password. Just, just you want the password to be reset? Yeah, Travis, you think you can reset the password? Of course you can. Click on forgot password, and they'll send you a new one. Oh, good. Is that Sam, he, he showed you something, right? He showed me an itinerary. Right. So On a Hotwire thing. <laughs> but I it, just started. Huh? I just started the email that came when I purchased the tickets. <laughs> you came when you purchased no, the tickets? Uh, ticket. uh, uh, I, I, I felt like that when I saw Sabbath for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was like, oh, I purchased these tickets and I came. I don't need to go on the trip anymore. Yeah. <laughs> what am I thinking? <laughs> hope, you, hope you weren't so, on that top bunk. Hope Nico, what did you show him? You showed him the email? The email that confirmed the tickets were purchased. Okay, show yeah, him that email. I just, Where's that email? Yeah, conf definitely it needs to say confirmation of purchase because you can also just get ready to order the Because tickets, like I said, I still... Screen cap it. Yeah, that's true. And then and then not oh. actually hit... Well, I that's what I been, said originally. It could, could have been, been one of those things where you just set up an itinerary yeah. and you don't buy it. Right. Because I do believe that he bought the tickets. I, I just don't believe he got refunds. Why would you believe that he bought the tickets? Yeah, I don't I, know either. Because I, because he showed Sam. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything. No, I know. I, I mean, you're, you are making me question okay. everything that I've ever believed this right now. an email... In the inbox, itinerary Las Vegas, January twenty third to twenty eighth. Yes. Hot wire vacations. Yeah. Because you booked a flight, you qualify for fifty five percent off hotel. Okay. Um, that's probably legit. Departure Virgin to Las Vegas. Yeah, that's, that's legit. And then return Las that's Vegas. That's just his name. Yeah. No, it's all. Uh, that's legit. I if see. it's in an email that says that, Nico yeah. wouldn't think to, to to make that up. No, I, 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 I believe that he did that. Oh, you think he bought them and not the refund? Yeah, I don't. I don't think he got a refund for half of his trip from Hotwire. Like you're buying the tickets directly from Hotwire. You're not buying them. Eighty six dollars. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, da da da. No, that's real. The 
And Virgin is the one that refunded you, you said? Yes, just Virgin. But not Delta? Mm-hmm. No. I and see. No emails. And yeah, you, how yeah. do you not get an email? That's you don't have a problem. refund email? On the phone. Especially if it's going through Hotwire and you have a Hotwire email. How do you not have a Virgin On the phone email? or in regular mail? No, I called Hotwire on the phone. Or Hotwire, and then they told me to call Virgin. That's okay, what, what was your excuse? Oh, was it jury duty? Yeah, pretty much. Here's what if I wonder. you call the airline no. directly... The answer is already no. Yeah. Okay, here's what I wonder. If you had... <clears throat> they will not refund you for jury duty. Did you buy insurance? They no. won't refund sometimes you for being set. You don't have that kind of scratch. Well, sometimes if you pay the extra $30 or something... If I should buy the insurance, you said no. You think Nico bought a refundable ticket? <laughs> no, I don't. Fuck <laughs> out of here. I'm, just tr- I'm trying She's to figure out how this could that. possibly have actually happened. And I probably should have bought the insurance. Didn't. Well, she thought you were going to go with her. <laughs> yeah, so did I. Mm. But I didn't. There's a no, there's a lot of holes in it, but there's of enough holes. of it that is true that yeah, I you know what? bullshit. Good news, Nico's in tomorrow. Uh-huh. He can just bring the letter from Hotwire. True, you'll bring it, right? I gotta find it. Travis, where would it be? It's Travis, only a few days ago. There's some real fuckery going on in that room in there, isn't there? No, I'm just. There's so. No, many... he's right. Travis is right because Nico was the 19th. Today's the 30th. Ten days ago, you still have it. No, I wait. The jury duty note or the Hotwire? No, the, the hot Hotwire. Wire. No, I canceled that back note. in the beginning of the. No, the no, year. the letter that says like, "Here's your refund. It's been processed. Sorry, we didn't send you an email like we normally do." Yeah, so yeah, you have that. We ran yeah. out of email space, so we started sending letters. <laughs> yeah, our, our Gmail got full, so our now our drive is too big and too yeah. full. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Go ahead, Nico. And even if they don't have the e- the actual uh, letter, he can call Virgin and be like, "Hey, can you just resend this email to notify that I got a, re- uh, a refund for this ticket?" He can lock in the Hotwire right now. What's no, that? he doesn't have a password. You reset it. Yeah. He reset it. Log in. Yeah. I just, okay, reset it. These guys are messing with you, Nico. You're all messing with me. Not me. Well, I Nico, don't trust any of you guys anymore. You Nico. don't trust us. Why? We're not lying. You're the one who lies <laughs> about everything. Nico, you seriously <laughs> lie about everything. How could you not trust us? Because we are like have questions about your fabrications and lies. That's not fair. Nico, you understand. Does that make you, sense? you constantly lie. You understand that, right? What? You've told more lies than a rug. F- um, <sighs> You're getting there. You're getting there. Keep going with it. <laughs> you understand that, right, Nico? I think that's a little harsh on Troy's part. You've told I mean, a few I, tall tales. Did it, anything important? Well, log into your thing. <laughs> I just I lied. mean, all I remember is lying about being a virgin. <laughs> Nico, did you reset your password? No. Well, go ahead. Just, what are you waiting you for? said you were doing it. There were some lies associated with this trip. Would you say you've been 100% forthcoming with information as far as this trip goes? What do you mean? Exactly. Hold on. You, let, you, no, let, let, let him find his password. You, you reset your password, which is very easy to do. I don't know why it's taking you an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, Mike in Cleveland. Yes. Yes, buddy. I actually bought a reserved a hotel on Priceline before with the express deal that said non refundable, all that stuff. I booked it for the wrong weekend. They charge you a $100 cancellation fee, and I had to call the hotel themselves to get it because they reserved the room for you. It's not actually from Hotwire or Priceline. Okay. So you can, yeah, but Mike also sounds like the kind of guy who can get things done. Nico can get yeah. things done. Thank you, Mike. You know, I actually had my wife do it. <laughs> all right. boy, you're out working. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> She's home all day fucking fixing her hair. Nico's like recipes. He's scrolling around his uh, his Hotwire email looking for the reset. And I was like, you have to go on Hotwire.com. Oh. That is a Hotwire well, email? The itinerary. No, he's looking in the itinerary email for a password reset instead of going to Hotwire.com. Oh, yeah, go to Hotwire.com. Yeah. He's not again. Or I'm sure there's an app. And just clicking I don't know, the... I uh, installed on my computer. It saved all the passwords. That's so fine. You can just, just reset it right now. Reset it. reset it now. Reset go to Hotwire.com. You say, forgot my password. Can you and really reset. do that? Of course you can, yeah. Oh. It's, just, it's brand new. Oh. Whether you're allowed to reset passwords? Yeah, yeah. They send you a letter in the mail with your temporary password. Yeah, so so he's gonna he'll click to reset his password, and then in four days the letter should come in the mm-hmm. mail. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, Hotwire. Their business has slowed down since they ran out of email space. Yeah, what happened was they just they said it was just costing them too much. Yeah. In hard drive space, they decided that it was easier to get. They hired some people handwriting the notes. I heard that uh, so the computer buttons don't get clicked out. The computer that they use for email, the keyboard got greasy, and they haven't replaced it yet. Nico, here it is, buddy. Oh. Password assistance. Oh. On the sign-in page. He goes, oh, and then he turns oh. back around. Go to the sign-in page on I Hotwire. Am, so I am. He's okay. doing that already. Go to sign-in right. page. Boy. Password assistance. Yeah. Yeah, he's Enter way ahead. the email address associated with your Hotwire account. He's, he's way ahead of you. What if it's a snail mail address? Wait, password assistance? <laughs> Wait, why don't you just, Troy, you're there. Why don't you just tell Nico, Nico, go over there and show Troy your email address, and then he can enter it from there. You don't just... No, it's there now. It's there right here. Yeah, there this way it's a little easier. Not Fuck it. it. We'll do it live. Sometimes it's hard to do on the phone. It is. Yeah. Right. You know, the phone, you, you're opening it up. 
Yeah. You gotta you gotta figure out touch screen. Am I swiping? Am I dragging? It's a whole my, thing. Yeah, yeah the phone can be a, a pain, in the, pain in the foot, as my grandmother would say. Am I pinching? I, I sort of you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to work this. I don't either. It's very difficult. Yeah, but Troy's got the answer. He'll help. Just go up to sign in. He'll help the boy over there. Troy, go up to sign in. Okay, now they're not putting, having trouble. Now they're putting their brains yeah. together oh, and it's all collapsing. The way yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Okay. Computer expert yeah. Troy Kwan is top right. Sign yeah. in. Sign in. Oh, nope. Okay, he went to support. <laughs> I was asking you. Uh, there I is. forgot password. There you go. All right, we got there. Put in the Only old, took have three a... of us. This crack team we got. Yeah, I just sat back and watched. You did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I do. I just kind of like, I'm like the, the, the puppeteer. <laughs> I see. I see. There he is. Well, you're studying. His... <laughs> yes, I do. Check for an email from us. Oof. We sent an email. Nico? Right, check your email. Can you have, do you have an email on your phone, Nico? Yeah. Oh. Ooh, he does. What do you like better, email or regular mail? He's a regular mail guy. He likes regular He's a, mail. Nico's a her. tactile yeah. guy. He likes to open a letter. Yeah. Nico, Nico likes this sound. Right. Oh, you mean old paper Nico? He likes that yeah. a lot. He Nico likes to papers. sit on the toilet and go through his mail. You bet he doesn't piss. Yeah. Yeah. sounds the thing. What happened, Nico? What? What's wrong, Nico? Hit that microphone. Why does here. Nico look defeated? He look, Nico, come over here. He looked defeated. What happened, Nico? Oh, you can trust him. What happened, little Nikki? Leaky Nikki? What happened? Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, we got a little bit of an issue, guys. What's Leaky. the issue? What's, Troy, what's, what's the issue? Dude, hold on. It's not going to say this email is not recognized. It said... Uh, is it offensive if, I, if Leaky Nikki? Is that like... <laughs> is that offensive or no? <laughs> that's okay, right? Or Lico, yeah. <laughs> Lico? <laughs> yeah, that's fine, right? <laughs> it says, let's try a different email for your password reset. The email address you gave us wasn't registered to a Hotwire account. Oh, boy. Nico, would you please, Nico, please approach take the a stand? Seat. Is there anything else that you'd like to talk to us about? Nico. You don't even have a Hotwire account. Comment. What do you suppose went down? What do you suppose happened? Anymore. What do you think yeah, happened? Yeah, you do. What happened? I'm telling you what happened. No, you're not. Hotwire didn't recognize your email address. Why wouldn't they? I don't know. Hmm. That doesn't make sense. No. Troy, in your expert opinion, you're a computer expert. You're a bit of a techno technological whiz kid. What do you think happened? I think this is all bullshit, man. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, but he's got an email confirming his flight. <laughs> I saw the email. Was the email that you just showed me sent to the same address that you just put into Hotwire? As far as I remember, yes. Check. Well, can you okay, look? you just well, showed me an you email. You just opened it. <laughs> right? <laughs> so hard. <laughs> My brain hurts. I know. Shut up in there having the time of his life. Yeah, he is. Good, you good. Good. You should enjoy this one. He deserves one, he right? He does, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he does. Shit love is taking a lot of beatings. Yeah, he he should, does deserve one he enjoy enjoyable day. day. Nico, well, especially last semester, Nico used to just hit him in the ribs every chance he got. So. That's right. We'll get back to Anthony. <laughs> Let's see. You got what you got, buddy. Was it sent to the same email? Hmm. Where's the... Uh... The great mystery. Jim, you do a lot of travel, right? Yes, I do. Is it's it, funny you should ask. Is it generally this complicated? Never. Oh, okay. Never. It's all right. It what says it goes to that email? It's a mystery. So then, did he check out as a guest? Oh, wait. I remember what happened now. Oh! Okay. There you go! Oh! When, I, when, I purchased Eureka! The, when I purchased the tickets, yes. <clears throat> I put that email in, but I didn't put at Gmail. And then I had a call to reset them, to reset to send it at Gmail. What did you put in instead of Gmail? I put it at live.com, because that's my other email, my personal email. So do it that. So, wait, wait, wait. We'll reset the password. So I from called the live them to email. reset the email to send it to that email. That might be why. Okay. So do it so now then, and go to live. Whatever the live one it's is. It's not. A, it's not a real email. You just said it was your personal no, email. This yeah, you, name you at live.com isn't a real. I have another email at email. live. dot com. It's a different. It's a different. Do you name. get confused? I, I guess. Do you get confused <clears throat> easy? Very easy. My yeah. ADHD. Hey, try. And yeah. sometimes the pee pee thing, too, because you're thinking about, oh, oh man, yeah. I gotta go peeps. Yeah. Do you have to pee right now? Eggs. No, I just went before I came in. Cool. Smart. Yeah. Pees out of his hiney. He like does? He's like a bird. <laughs> At least one hole. Do you just have one hole, Nico, <laughs> where everything comes out? I'm confused. Okay, oh, no. Like when you go to the bathroom, does it all come out of one hole? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Good. good to know. So, wait, you called them to reset your password to an email that doesn't exist? Yeah, How is that happening? I, I, felt, I felt really stupid when That's it why he does better with regular mail. Yeah. Nico actually. I didn't uh, realize it. When if, you get his, if you get his coat from the office, he's got his address pinned to the inside <laughs> of it. And his mittens? Yeah. So wait, what do you? So why can't you just go to that email address and have it reset? It's not a real email. It's a fake email. Because I put I put that he's, name okay, so, at live. .com, so he's got yeah. he's got one email address, which I'm assuming if the if he's got an email address, let's just say it's uh, ppniki at live. dot com, yeah. right? He's got another email address at gmail. dot com. My work email, yeah. That's your work email. So he took 
the first part of his work email. Yeah, and put it put it in right. front of the second part of his personal email. And I didn't realize it after a few. And then said, "This is up. my email yeah. address." And I was on the phone with Mary Jean when that happened too, and I because I was supposed to get an email. Maybe all the blood was uh, and rushing I'm like, downstairs. Where's the email? And I'm like, "Oh, I see." What Somebody wants to defend Nico, so we okay. have to be fair. Email. Shane, what's up, buddy? Yes, good. Uh, good morning, boys. Hey, I would like to defend Nico. Everybody knows that it's hot wires stance that. Once you get a letter mailed to you, they take you out of the email system. I didn't know that. Is that right? Everybody knows that? I didn't. Huh. I guess Shane gave up on that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Shane, we're here. Um, now, Richard England here. What's up, Rich? Hello, fellas. Richard Branson here. Oh, wow, oh, Richard Branson. Hi, Richard. Branson. Big fans of your work, but For how are you doing? Oh, pretty good, pretty good, yes. Ms. So Young, you, uh, uh, Nico, uh, I don't know if you know who Richard Branson is. He's a, a billionaire who actually owns and created Virgin Airlines. And he's, he's called it, I guess he was listening. Do you remember uh, this transaction, Richard? <clears throat> oh, yes, I do. He wrote me a letter saying that he was going to go meet some porn star. Oh, and, and did you get the? Did you issue so him I, a refund? I a, yes, I wrote a letter and put it on a donkey, sent it back to <laughs> With a refund check to, to the store to cash. <laughs> so, no so, paper I made him burn everything right after. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah so there's no that, record of it. Is that what happened? Richard Branson sent a donkey with a check that you had to bring the check cashing to get the money back for? Yeah. I, I see. Remember that okay. Well, that makes sense as to why uh, mm -hmm. it's so difficult to get any information behind this. Thank you very much, Mr. Branson. Yeah, that could be of help. Yeah, no, you got it. Um, Jeez. So do you see, like, f from the... Uh, other perspective, like from the perspective that's not your perspective, that when like one minute you're over here talking about jury duty, the next minute you're talking about buying Mary Jean a dress, the next minute like you're like... That, one, that was a lie. That was a lie. Yeah, a little I mean, bit of a, a fabrication. Yeah. Why, okay. why would you lie about that? I didn't know what, what I was going to end up having to pay for at that point. Right. You, you don't want to tell us certain things because you're embarrassed, but then you do, and then so you lie to cover that, but then we ask you about yeah. the lie and you go, well, I was embarrassed. And we come here and there seems to be a, a fountain of lost information. Yep. That it's only natural that that some of us have questions. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. I would too. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of mysteries. A lot. I'm a mysterious lot. person. Well, you lie a lot. So yeah. That's, I mean, that, that that happens. You know. Yeah, a lot of unanswered questions. Right. Where like whatever you, know, you want to call it. Like for me, there's not a lot of mysteries because people are like ask me something and I tell them the answer. Yeah, just give them the answer. For you, like if I ask you something, like I go like like Nico, how's your day been? What would you say? It's going good. I wonder if he's telling me the truth. I don't yeah, know. Bullshit. I don't know. You don't look good. I don't know. Mystery, mystery. So, uh, well, let's bring it to. I also really quickly want to bring in Nico to join this discussion because I don't believe okay. Mary Jean and Nico have actually spoken face no, to face. I actually blocked him from all social media too. Okay, we'll talk about that when <laughs> he gets in. What did Nico do? <laughs> me, me, he stood me up. Yes, he did. What? <gasps> yeah. How? Hey, Anthony. <laughs> dare he? Nico, please take that mic. You have a lot of explaining to do. No kidding. Every, I mean, Mary Jean was every straight man with a dick has questions for you. She was Mary Jean was nominated for a, a, an AVN award for spectacular boobs. Yeah, Brad is, Brad is applauding. He's kind of echoing the sentiments of the sure. room. And so you were going to have Nico go with you. Yeah. Hey, Nico. How are you, Mary? I'm pretty good. You're How are red. you? Your face is red. Yeah. What, no, so what, what happened with uh, with you guys? Why didn't you go to I, AVN? I didn't go because I didn't have the money, and I was just too embarrassed to tell you that I didn't have the money because I felt like I'd be letting all you guys down if I didn't Aww. go. Because you guys... And you did. Yeah. I did. <laughs> Sick. And I Start felt, a yeah. GoFundMe campaign. Yes. You get there. Take a bus. Yeah. You have you have a platform on the radio where there where, where there's listeners that would do anything to make this happen. Yeah. You could have done that. I could have. Be inventive. Look at those tits. <laughs> there's always next year. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll have a lot more money then. <laughs> so why did you just radio. tell no. us we would have paid for your flight? Because I felt like you guys would have. Thought a lot less of me because we, we couldn't. Oh. Oh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> With less than zero. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know that then. And, but uh, I'm so used to to people thinking less. So I was like, all right, here's that <laughs> moment. But I was like, oh, I probably should have just said I didn't have the money rather than go through all that trouble of saying, all right, I'll just not go at the last. So minute. Mary Jean, yeah. like you were very impressed with Mary Jean. Yeah. I didn't think she'd want me to go. With her. I was like, all right. And now I have to go. But then I was like, all right, it's gonna suck when I say I can't go. Cause you didn't have enough money. Yeah, I would have given mm. you the money. Aww. That would have been. You nice. talk into the mic. Your Travis is screaming. <laughs> yeah, that would have been nice. Yeah. Um, and 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 how much did you need? 
everything. I, I would have needed a lot more just for the hotel. I had the tickets, but then it was like, all right, I didn't have enough. After. We would the the show would have tried to yeah. kind of uh, would have would have ponied up for that. I didn't know that because no one told me that. Well, you didn't but tell I probably us. Should have asked. So of why you did should've. you lie and say you got the tickets no, and I then did, did get the tickets? Like, oh, you did. Yeah, that was legit. I lost my money. <laughs> You lost over seven hundred dollars. Yes, because then that doesn't make sense. That yeah. honestly, I'm okay with you saying, "Hey, I didn't have the money because." Because you were just so excited, cool. and I was like, "Oh, this is gonna kill her." Trust me, I'm excited about everything that goes on in my life. But like, <laughs> oh being straightforward is more like it would have been a lot easier. Yeah, like Jim said, Jim. <clears throat> Jim would have sent a picture of his dick online, like put it on online just so you can go. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you've read, I don't know how that would have helped. <laughs> you've read the Jim Norton, no, you've read the Jim Norton playbook. He does yeah. that anyway. Yeah, <laughs> if you don't send Nico to Vegas, I'll keep posting yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, 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 well, you blew an opportunity, my friend. I did. Yeah. Sure. I mean, but, and, and you lied to everybody. You let poor Mary Jean down. Mm -hmm. I did a lot of bad things last semester. <laughs> and then I knew when I came back this semester, I wasn't going to let everyone down. And I was going to do a lot more than I did last semester. And I think I have. See, Nico's saying he lets everyone down. It's just what he does, and he yeah. doesn't want to do that mm -hmm. anymore. Is that an apology? I don't know. Mary I'm, Jean I'm is sorry, pretty Mary much Jean. saying, stop really your sad sorry. sack yeah. shit and say you're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I truly am sorry. Because then, yeah, the audience is probably just as mad. Yeah. Well, it was, it's, it's the fact that you lie. Like, if I, you I just lie. tell the yeah. truth about it, like, we're, mm -hmm. we're grown ups. People don't have money. I didn't make money for a decade doing stand up. I don't, yeah. no, no one's going to yeah. judge you for that. You're a fucking intern. Yeah. You're not supposed to have a lot of money. I'm not. Mm -hmm. we, we you can if you're a male prostitute, like on the <laughs> side. Yeah, Mary, she's sport. not wrong. She's not. I mean, yeah. Would, yeah. would men pay to fuck Nico though? They might. Fuck yeah! Like gay sex is so cool now. <laughs> there might be it's some trending. weird. Yes, yeah, <laughs> some fucking weird Super Mario Brothers fucking fetish <laughs> people. Sure. Didn't you notice Nico's beard's like lighter? Did he take like whiff off of it? Yeah, like it looks. It. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. You're so fucking red right now. <laughs> Why are you so red? I haven't seen Mary Jean in a long time. Is your dick hard? No. Not right now. I'm, I'm, Too soon. I'm talking about not having money. <laughs> we'll be later. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That doesn't make no no guy's dick is hard when he's confessing to a porn star that he doesn't have money. No. Yeah. <laughs> now that's a good fetish. So like, now you, I guess being women, you get used to guys lying to you about different shit. I mean, you know, what, to try to make themselves appear to be a way that they're not. Yeah, especially yeah. strippers. Like they get it really bad. Well, sure, because every, every guy wants to roll into a strip club and think he's a big shot or, yeah. try, or try to play that role. So yeah, I, I'm I'm sure there's a lot of oh yeah, I'm a producer, or I yeah, you know, I'm whatever. a movie star thing or whatever, <laughs> whatever it takes to get your pants off. Yeah, it's like uh, it, they're strippers, money, money. Yeah, what? you got to go in there and. Th but then again, that kind of works though too. Like if Nico walked into a strip club and he's like, "Hi, I'm just I'm an intern and I'm really trying," no one's gonna sit on his lap. <laughs> I'm giving it my best go. Yeah, how you doing, Nico? The old college try. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you performing, by the way? Mary Jean is doing a gig, a dance gig. Yeah, in Philadelphia, um, April twentieth. Okay, I yeah. wanted to promote that before I forget. Yeah, I forget that sometimes. Wow, so. Uh, so you're gonna be in Philadelphia a a April 20th. I'm gonna be there the yeah. very next week, April 26th to the 28th at Helium. Oh, okay, that's a great city. Yeah. It's a good city for us too. Like we have a decent amount of listeners there. There's all, and this is gonna sound. I'm gonna sound nerdy for a second, but one of my favorite museums is there. It's called the Mutter Museum. The, the Muter Museum. Yeah, I had a Muter Museum T-shirt. I was medical really fat. Oddities. I didn't look good in it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's all it, it's all about medical oddities. The, the, the strangest thing there is that they have a full dwarf skeleton and when i stand in front of it it just looks like a weird before and after photo it's very it, it oh, like it, scary. It, it, it looks really fucked up like 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 i'm staring at this photo and then i i see other museum people there staring at me star staring at the skeleton going like oh i think that was his brother they think you're a new part of the exhibit <laughs> would you would you mind on hanging out here if we paid you yeah <laughs> exactly okay so nico uh you feel really bad i did um, i do oh, yeah. Somebody is, wants to chime in here. Jeff in Ohio, about to Nico, yes? Hey, uh, Nico, you're a fucking idiot, buddy. <laughs> I just, uh, Get that on. I just want to let you know, if I had had the opportunity you had, I'd have robbed the fucking bank to come, yeah. come up with that money. Yeah. People think that Nico made yeah. a judgment error. Oh, yeah. mm. Definitely. Yeah. I would have changed all my pennies and <laughs> make at least half of the trip and be like, help me out here. You should have. Something. There's there. always a way in life. Yeah. Always. I didn't Thank know what you. to do. I was just like, uh... Well, you could have asked us because uh, the worst that, that, that at least we could have made a bit out of it. We could have mm -hmm. gotten something out yeah. of it. Yeah. 
Um, where Mary Jean could have said, hey, you pay the tickets, I'll pay the room. You know, whatever. It could have been worked on. Mm -hmm. Oh, he tried that one. Um, He did. You do the room, and I'll pay for the tickets. Yeah, didn't work out. (laughs) Oh, no. Mary Mary Jean's face shows that she objected to that (laughs) arrangement. Yeah. Yeah, no. That's like a guy living in my house, and me going to work every day and night and he's staying home yeah. and masturbating. Yeah. Aren't there a lot of girls that like that though? Like you see oh, a lot yeah. of beautiful women that have these boyfriends that they call them like suitcase pimps in porn right. where they do nothing and they just kind of show up and they're like these leeches and a lot of these are amazing Tag-alongs. women. Tagalongs. Why do they attract, why do they like guys this, like this? I don't understand. I don't know, but it's happening even the, like the like friends. It always happens, you know, like people always try to like just be there like well, a leech and similar I to guess. men how they have that like white horse mentality of like oh i'm gonna come in and i'm gonna save this girl and she's gonna love me yeah Got, women have that i want to take care of him i want to cater to him i want him to you know love he me. needs me yeah if he has if she has like a low self-esteem <laughs> oh okay so all women oh, <laughs> yeah. yes so so, so how do you think i got my wife because i yeah i need her to reach stuff you know what i mean like <laughs> she's very, she's very valuable to me do you understand my ex-girlfriend was five ten Mm-hmm. And I'm, she, I literally a year after we broke up found candy on the top shelf. <laughs> and, she, and I'm like, what the fuck was that up there? And she goes, that's where I would hide it so you didn't find it because I was bitching about candy. I, I didn't want to eat candy. That's true. She put it on the fucking top shelf so I wouldn't see it. Uh, Humiliating. I should not laugh that hard because she she could do that with the second shelf. Like it, it's just nothing. But I've it, done that before. He wouldn't stop hitting me with a, this Nerf bow and arrow that he had. <laughs> so I put it on top of the fridge with just the edge peeking out. Like a child. Oh my God, that's so great. <laughs> like it took him child. two weeks to find it. And then one day I come home and he's just got it. And he's just like playing with this string. Just boom, now, boom. And I'm like, how did you get to the top of the I, fridge? Because I had to play a little game of Cirque de Mige. I just kind of climb up on top of the damn fridge. A ladder and with a fucking yeah. uh, hanger. Yeah. I get very inventive. I'm, I'm a climber. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess you learn, right? What's that? Yeah, because like I, I stay in hotels all all over the country, and the thing that I where I always have to climb up and do it is uh, I go to take a shower, and then like the shower head is pointed to the side or or pointed straight up. Oh, and then I, I don't. You wanna, know how the fuck do you? What do you do? Because I don't want to be that guy like calls the front desk like, hey, can you come fix my shower for me? So like uh, I've I've gotten towels and I've like whipped them around the shower head oh and then God. like pulled them down that way. I've stacked various things in rooms. I would never think, you know, like you never so creative. Th- it is creative, <laughs> and you never think. All right, how does a a, a little guy fucking yeah. grab something or, or turn the shower head when you want to adjust the shower head? Yeah, yeah, that and that's how I know my wife is mad at me. Because With the shower heads pointed up? Yeah. I'm like, ah, I got, Fuck. I, I, I got to apologize punishment. for something. All the ladders are on top of the fridge. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, Nico, anything else? Uh, your mic is on uh, that. We, I hate that number two mic is shitty. No. Do you, do you apologize to Mary Jean? I'm, I'm sorry, Mary Jean. Like, I'm truly sorry. I want you to get on your knees and apologize. Yeah! I think that's fair. I deserve a real apology. No, that's a good idea. <laughs> wow, he has a very high self Now, do we have a, uh, a, a mic? Hold on now. Let's bring a mic over there for you. I might as well Instagram sure. this. Sure. Um, guys, you can follow me at... What is it? Mary Jean XXX. I forgot. Just don't do anything bad Wait. to him because he's an intern. We can't have that. I... <laughs> Hold on, Nico. We're gonna get... okay, I keep forgetting that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't yeah. Uh, do anything. No, no, you know. Uh, I love when that's I... That's six. Can okay, I try it again? Check. Hello? Yep, good. Or am I... Okay. Here. Do you want me to fill it for you? I don't know what to do. Like, this is so she... exciting. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm happy this is going to happen. <laughs> Should I take these off? Uh, you can, yeah. Oh, she was talking about the headphones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got so excited. Yeah. Here, I'll film for you. Like, I'm a queen. Or something. I don't know. Maybe some foot worship? You are oh, a queen. No, yeah, you, you can't worship her feet. He's an intern. No, uh, touch. Mary Jean, <laughs> I'm truly, truly sorry for not going with you to Vegas and not telling you about it. Nico, <laughs> you should kiss my feet. <laughs> well, that's up to Nico. Do you want to kiss the top of the feet? Or at least... If yes. that's what you want? Yes. All right. I kiss both. All right. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow, he's going for it. All right, good boy, Nico. Now, do you like Mary Jean's feet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little bit? What? I just did. Don't. I think you should smell them a little bit. Go ahead, give her feet a sniff. Why not? Yeah. They smell good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that was nice. Why? Why does he say yeah? Like it's yeah. like oh, like oh yeah, that that's a good coffee. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because Nico is a good boy. Uh, but Nico, uh, when is the last time you had your penis in a vagina? Oh, sorry, I turned you off. Uh, yes. Never. <laughs> Never. Nico's a virgin. Yeah. Oh! Still? So, 
Yeah, still. Is huh? that the first woman's you... foot you've ever kissed? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. How, how old are you, Nico? 20. 20? Yeah. Okay. Good how do you feel about kissing cherries. your feet? It was fine. It was fine. Yeah. It wasn't bad. No. Get to kiss a girl's foot. <laughs> I've done much worse in studio.